Welcome back, everybody, to a space for the Unbound. Yes, yes, yes. We are back and in the freaking action. We're back into the action, all right? Back into the action for a space for the Unbound. Um, finishing it off today. Yeah, <clears throat> we're going to be finishing off our story and um, kind of doing it. Yeah, I really enjoy this game a lot, so let's do it. So, Narmala, hmm. You don't like rain. It's not like you... You to be so happy. It's not like you to be so happy. So Narmala really likes rain, yeah? Alright. Hey Masumi, how you doing, Masumi? And that's it. Another plot point complete. It's about to it's about to start Princess. New artifact, the magic wand. This wand is totally loaded with star magic. Oh, I'm uh, interesting. Also, also, uh, look at what I drew. The comet is coming and it means the festival is around the corner. It's so great when people get together and send off fireworks. I can't wait to see what they do for the festival. Fireworks? You like fireworks? Really? I kind of hate the loud noises. The noise is the only one aspect of their character, Atma. Fireworks are magical. They bloom bright in the night sky and rain their petals down like shooting stars. Hey Susie, how you doing Susie? They make it seem like anything's possible. Like I could fly across the sky to the star princess. Hey Kelly, how you doing Kelly? To keep her company, you know, uh, when she feels sad. Well, that's society then. What is that if we can finish the story, I'll take you to the festival. For real? My gosh, yes. I'll totally finish this story with you. Oh, very good. So uh, that's, we're on the right path here, right? Listen. Do you have any idea what it takes to lead? I don't think so. Freak? Uh, what? You're just a fake bitch. <laughs> okay. Stop it. Who said that? Who called her a fake bitch? I was, I was not expecting that. Oh, dude, Marin? Marin? Amma? Uh, we don't know exactly who called her that. Hey, Ruth. How you doing, Ruth? Atma. Oh, you're alive. Thank goodness. Um, Marin? Is that you? Oh, yes, it's me. This is, uh... Oh, God. Is the world kind of, like... Damaged? I thought I'd wake up in that damn classroom again, but he didn't. Aaron, do you know where Raya is? Anma, what are you talking about? Her power. It's beyond my comprehension. I need to stop her before she hurts anyone else. Hell, with that kind of power, she could probably destroy this entire town. Damn it. She's in trouble, and here I am being an idiot. My hands are shaking. I'm, I'm afraid of her, actually. It's only natural that you would be. She just, uh, cast a meteor on you. <laughs> okay. You saw it? Yes. Raya's been running around, running riot for too long. I have a plan, though, so don't worry. First things first. So let's move out. It's not safe here. What do you mean? Not safe. Whoa! Is that furniture? Furniture raining down from the sky. Chairs and tables and... Atma, please, I, I know what furniture is, and at this point, does anything surprise you? Yes, actually it does. Furniture falling from the sky surprises me, Marin. You make a fair point. <laughs> anyway, we need to get out of here. Eyes on the sky, and let's get to my base camp, yeah? Hey, Vaughn, how you doing, Vaughn? Hey, Griff, how you doing, Griff? Your base camp? It's through here, come on. You don't want to be creamed by a falling desk now, do you? Uh, duh. Well... Talk more at the base camp. <laughs> Never would I have ever think I would have said that out loud either. You didn't think... You, you don't want to be creamed by a desk now, do you? No, I do not want to be creamed by a desk. Uh-oh. Hey, Squash. What's going on, Squash? Hey, Anthony. How you doing, Anthony? You made it to a live stream? How you doing? Hey, wait. It's dangerous out there. He left. Who was that? He was wearing our school uniform. Do you know him? Hmm. Well, uh, no time for standing around. Let's head to my base camp. Just through the small gate. 
you say so, I guess. Follow me. Hey, Q, how you doing, Q? She's like dodging clocks, dude. <laughs> Watch out for the falling debris. Those are clocks. Oh my god. Okay. Do I really? Oh my lord. Just go. Just go. Just go. All right. Well, that. Try again. Ah, I, I think I, I think I'm all right. Ah. How? The last thing I remember was this enormous piece of furniture. Marin, I should be dead by now, or at least suffering from heavy concussions or something. But check it out, I'm all good. Not even a scratch, see? Well, that's convenient. Okay, it's terrifying, actually. Look, we can't stay here getting pounded by falling homeware all day. Let's focus on saving Raya. And uh, be careful, okay? You got lucky that time, but next time, who knows? Okay, you're so right. I forgot this game is a puzzle game. <laughs> Oh. Ah! 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 Go. Let's go. Hey, Jill. How you doing, Jill? Hey, Big Hurt. What's going on? What's going on? How y'all doing? Base camp. You remind me a lot of Raptor, just your glasses aren't tinted, and I think you have a little more emotion in your gameplay. I don't remind you? Not yet, right? Here, this is for you, Anthony. Who am I now? Huh? Who am I now? <laughs> Good to see you, though. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, yeah? This is... What is it? Uh... I've been here before. In a dream. That's called deja vu, yo. When you feel like you've been somewhere before. We've all had deja vu at one point, right? I've heard that some people think of it as a paranormal thing. But present research in the scientific community indicate that... Whoa, hold up. I mean, I know what deja vu is. It, this isn't it. This... I really have been here before. That's... That's just impossible. I settled for this place because it's hidden from everyone else in the city. <laughs> oh, I know who Raptor is. Absolutely. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Raptor. Especially not Raya. I wouldn't make that kind of mistake. A long time ago, I, I decorate this room to be as similar as possible to the people I used to know. This room is a masterpiece, as much as the other magic artifacts I found. Magic? Artifact? Baron, you've totally lost me. Please slow down and start from the beginning. Sorry, I'm really bad at explaining this stuff. I know you must have lots of questions, so about... Uh, or ask away, right? Well, what happened to the city? First things first. Hey, Summer Sunshine. How you doing, Summer Sunshine? Raya's anger has destabilized the whole universe. You can deduce by how everyone in town behaves strangely. Random items falling from the sky. All the weird stuff we've been running into. This is progressing a lot faster than I expected. If we don't hurry, we could be seeing the end of the world as we know it. What? Marin, I, I don't want to insult you by comparing you to that bogus gemstone seller, but... But, you really think Ryan could start the apocalypse? Isn't that a bit crazy? Hey, Shorty. How you doing, Shorty? You're free to think that way. Surely you've seen enough to arrive at the same conclusion as me. I suppose the human mind isn't really built to comprehend stuff like this. Let's just say that I have a feeling I know where this is going, and uh, it's nowhere good. The world is important, sure, but I can't lose Raya again. <coughs> This place looks familiar. Well, my base camp. Although it's just a place where I used to hang out, I used to go here when I needed some time of my own. It's where I met Raya, too. It's thick with memory. I mean, it's like I, I can feel the weight of the memories hanging in the air. It feels familiar, but not exactly. The same as it did in the dream. 
a dream? I had a very long and vivid dream of hanging out in this kind of place with a kid named Nirmala. We spent countless hours writing a story together, but the dream ended abruptly in a pretty traumatic way. Dreams are never just dreams. I knew it. You really are, Atma. That's all I have to say. And you? No way. Could you be? Is it, uh... Let's save this. You think... Nirmala? Huh? Nirmala? Let's save this for later? It doesn't do to dwell on the sins of the past. I'd rather do what I can do to solve this mess in the present. How you doing, Nancy? What's going on, Nancy? What are all these drawings and trinkets? These are all magic artifacts I gathered. None are more magical than once. I'll show you when you're all done asking questions. This one is more enchanted than the rest. I just know it's going to come in useful. Enchanted? Marin, how can you talk about something like magic so seriously? How can you not? You used the book, didn't you? Yeah? Hmm. Well, after what you've seen around town, after you saw what Raya can do, are you still doubting it? Well, is this really the Atma I've heard so much about? I, uh... I'm torn between this world and a vivid dream, except I honestly couldn't tell you which was which at which moment. I see, fair enough. Magic aside, these items are a part of history, both mine and Raya's. A tangible reminder of everything that we need to be... It's the best hope I have to fix all of this. Do you know where Raya is now? I can't know for sure, but I saw a blue beacon shining brightly in the sky. It looks like it's in the direction of Loka High. I have a feeling Raya is there, using her powers for who knows what. We need to make a plan and get to executing it now. And then, how do you know Raya? It's a good question, actually. Very good question. Raya was my childhood best friend. But everything changed when you came around. Hmm. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Why me? How come you don't remember anything? I... It's too painful to remember. Anyway, I don't want to sit here and talk about all my screw-ups. What happened between Raya and I isn't important. You're the closest person to her at the moment. If you're serious and you really don't remember, I'll tell you the whole story later. But, right now, uh, we need to save Raya. Well, let's go do it. Let's get moving on. Alright, now for the task at hand. Indeed. You said you know a way to stop Raya. You have a plan, yeah? Indeed I do. Hey Amanda, how you doing? Of all the magical artifacts I've seen in my time, these two are by far the most powerful. The first is one you're familiar with already, the Red Magic Book. It's a very mysterious magic artifact of unknown providence. Uh, some pages are missing, and what's left is totally Ill 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 eligible, at least to me. That's why I gave it to you. Uh, the Red Book is destroyed, because Raya destroyed it, right? When you crashed into me in front of the classroom? Oh, right, in the beginning, like the first like 20 minutes of the, of the game, kind of, right? That was deliberate? Of course, I wanted to see what you would do with it. And it looks like you've taken the, the space diving like a professional. It's remarkable, really. So I'm thinking we can stop Raya by space diving her. <laughs> yeah. Once you help her back to her normal self, all the anomalies will disappear. Marin. Uh, I hate to rain on your parade, but I've already tried it. A space diving Raya. She's just, she just doesn't want space diving. And, and, well, Raya confiscated the book. I don't have it any, with me anymore. Hey, Alexandria, how you doing? I can't believe you. How could you be so careless? I, I'm sorry. I really am. What do I do? What can we do? I don't, I can't. Uh, can we make another book? Baron, take a deep breath. Calm down. Uh, panicking uh, don't, won't solve anything. We need to stay level-headed. Of course, she's talking to herself. I love the space diving, I know, right? I have a backup plan, but it's a long shot. Remember I mentioned two powerful artifacts? Well, that's the backup plan. The magic wand. Yes, oh, you remember. Yes, I remember seeing it in my dream. It's the one I used when I tried to save Namala before. 
Yes. The South Star Princess's magic wand. The red magic book allowed you to dive inside people's minds. But this magic wand can open a rift in time, allowing you to dive into the memory of a specific place. Oh, that's pretty cool. The game just opens up, man. A bit like space diving, but with a location rather than a person. Wow. The world is destabilizing because of Raya's magic, and the fabric of the universe has taken the hit in several places. I figured that the power of the wand might help you break through and open the rift. Maybe you'll be able to use it since you can use the book. I've never been able to activate it, anything myself, but you have. This wand, it feels strange to finally feel it in my hand in real life. So how do I use it? According to my research, it will react to some way when you're close to a rift. Let's try this. Hold the wand high above your head. It should show you the way to a rift. This is really cool. I can't believe that we're like seven hours into gameplay here and we're still learning more about, um, like, about the game. Or like learning more, I don't know, like, I say learning more, but more or less getting more things out of it, I guess, right? With now the magic wand. Nothing happened. Can I do the magic wand on you? Nothing happened in my world. That's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> hey there, are you going? All right, where are you going? I don't show... I didn't show you how to use the magic wand yet. Oh, well... Show me? Try using the wand. You might be able to find a rift in the area. Here, maybe. Maybe. What the hell does maybe mean? Don't worry about it. Just give it a go. Okay. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Interact. C to activate the magic wand. Oh. Aha! C. Is that a rift? I should hurry before it disappears. Uh, right. Rift. Sick. Did it. More layers. There you go. That's a good way to say it. More layers. You found the rift as expected from you, Atma. I can't believe my eyes. What now? Now, before you enter the rift, there's something I should warn you about. Oh, no. Here we go. You're about to break the dimensional veil. Time. Space. This magic is completely untested. Nobody knows what might happen if you disturb too much of the past. For all we know, you could break the time and space continuum. There's no point trying to prevent Raya from destroying the world if you just go and end it all by yourself anyways. That's a lot of pressure, so be careful, stay focused, in and then out, right? Let's go open the rift and step inside. Okay, how do I do that? You don't remember that part? To open it, you'll have to do the Star, <laughs> star Princess magic dance with the wand in your hand. She's joking, of course, right? Star, huh? I've never really danced to anything properly before. That's okay. It's just like fighting, but with magic. Maybe she's not joking. It's easy. Follow my lead. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've opened the rift. It really worked. Of course it did. I told you. It's my creation. I know it's capable of. What do you mean? Uh, enough dilly-dallying. Uh, go for now and follow your instincts. There might be something in the rift that can help us. For Raya's sake, of course. Into the rift! Whoa. Aaron? What the hell happened? The world, it's all, uh... Okay, man. Deep breath. Calm down. What did Marin say about the rift? Then about breaking through a veil, a time veil, wibbly wobbly. So like time travel, I guess, right? In movies, they always warn you not to change too much of the past. In steps the butterfly effect. Right. Uh, who? Today, no matter what, I've got to get my hands on the red magic book, whatever it takes. <gasps> Somebody outside mentioned the book. I should investigate. Now we're going back into time. This is freaking crazy, dude. This is kind of cool, though. This is really cool. Ah, uh, Marin! This is past Marin. Hey, wait! Who was that? I need to follow them. That was Marin, dude. That was so Marin. This is cool. Marin! 
Uh, which direction? Which direction? You think Marin went across? Oh, oh yeah, definitely went across the bridge. Cause look at that. That yeah, 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 yeah. You can see the disaster about to happen there. Let's go. Marin, wait up! Oh, I, I bet you I know what's gonna happen here. We're gonna chase her all the way to school into her bumping into us at school. No, that's my guess. I guess. Uh, what the heck is this? Yikes, this tree must have snapped that power cable when it fell. It's too dangerous to cross over there. Okay, maybe not. I need to find another path. Okay, maybe we aren't going to see that. That was my guess. Now I'm doubting myself, of course. I don't know exactly where we're at. Oh man, I can't get through here. Maybe there's an alternative route around here somewhere. I think she went right. Crumbs. I can't reach that book. Wait. I shouldn't talk to people in the past. I'll just look around then. So we can't talk to people in the past, but we can certainly at least observe the area. Fishing rod. I should be fine to borrow this without breaking reality, right? Ah. Uh... Maybe. Oh. This ruined dock. It's... This is where I was swept away in that dream. But there's no boat. And that kid, Normala, isn't here either. Or was that little girl? The red book! Yo! Wait, that book? Could it be? Can I reach it this time? That's a, that is not a fishing rod. I'll be real with you, my man. Not a fishing rod I've ever seen. That's a net. There we go. The mama. Ma? Where'd that come from? Huh? Atma. Atma! That voice. I I can't breathe. Hey, Black Raver. How you doing, Black Raver? Atma? What? What the hell just happened? You're back from the rift dive. Atma, are you alright? The voice. The, the little girl was... She... Wait. Was that a dream or... Atma, you're very pale. I'm... Okay. I got the book back. Oh. Did? Oh, well, you're a godsend. I knew you could do it. What's the plan now? Now we have the book, we can get started. But first, come outside with me. I've been meaning to show you this. Yeah, you didn't miss too much. Honestly, Black Raver, you didn't miss too much at all. Can I now interact with that? No, okay. What the... That thing, it's huge. What is it? Raya's flower. Her power may manifest. It's over towards Loka High. She must be there. We need to hurry. We must deflower Raya. Now that... Tebua. Tebua the fruity flavor is super refreshing. So, probably back to the left. Yes. Back to town. Yeah, that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the way we want to go. Uh, excuse me, dog guy now acting like a frog? Hey, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Maybe not the right choice of words. Yeah, maybe not the right choice of words. <laughs> it's the dog owner from before. <sighs> oh, he's a dog now. Maybe not a frog. Now he's barking. Whoa. Dude, it's me. Uh, what happened to you? Mm, he's lost it as well. Damn it, Raya. Not this poor guy as well. I need to find a way to get past him. Right. I think I might have something up my sleeve, though. Maybe I don't. 
I need to find something to make a dog go bark bark. What's this over here? Okay, that's to that. Okay. Okay. Let's go this way. Might be something over here. Hey, Natalie. How you doing, Natalie? Anything over here? No? <laughs> now, I do wonder if there's some sort of, like, also rift, maybe. Who knows? No. Let's see. Hang on. Let's approach him, maybe. I need to find a way to get past him. Maybe there was something at the, um... At the bus, that, or base camp, that I didn't see before. Let's see. Did I pass something out here? Maybe this in here? This? Anything in here? No. Okay. Um, maybe I can talk to you? Let's see. We need to reach the school and fast. Raya, I'm afraid she... Okay. Lightning. Right. How am I going to get past this gentleman? I was hoping, like, maybe here. Maybe. Or something, rather. Okay, there's nothing in that direction. Let's head... Uh, maybe I missed something back here again. I'll see, I'll see. I'll see. Oh! What's that on the ground? What is that? Oh, it's a dog toy! Ha! Ah. Why is this here? Yeah, man, that was very hard to keep my eye on. Dog toy. Yeah, I... That was, uh... That was really blended in into the environment. Okay, bark, bark, bark. Look here, boy. I got a toy for you. He's excited for this dog toy. Okay, buddy. You want this toy, right? Let's play fetch. I threw it in the air over my forehead. Go get it. Well, that will do it. What the hell happened to people? That's what I'm saying. What the hell happened to people nowadays? Hmm, something is happening up ahead. Oh, it's the freaking guy. Maybe we should avoid the crowd and find another route to the school. Let's take the road over here. I agree. He's gonna be like, I told you, I told you. The world's coming to an end. The wand, it's reacting to something here. Oh, the dimensional veil is thin around here then. Try opening a rift. All right, let's see. Use my magic wand. There we go. Okay, we have a rift here. We do our little magical baton kind of motion here. And then we find out what happened in this location, I think, right? Yeah. Let's go. I really like this, like, rift kind of, like, going back in time thing. I think it's really cool. Oh, Ria Cafe. The cafe is closed. Well, it's not like I need to buy a cake right now. Well, all right. Oh, that's the chef. I messed it up. It's so hard to cook and take customers' orders at the same time. It's so hard to stream and read chat at the same time. Maybe I'm really not meant for this. <laughs> Since Grandpa, I'm supposed to continue running, uh, running Ria Cafe, right? And I'm good with pastries, too. But I, I want to do this. Cooking Chinese food and interacting with customers, playing games and interacting with viewers. That's all I want out of my life. Maybe I should just give up and go back to the cafe. Maybe I should just go back and go back to Radio Shack. My mom told me she's concerned about this place. Food hygiene. It's, and teacher said I should check with check if they use hala ingredients. Why does eating have to be so complicated? Did you hear? This place uses MSG in their food? I heard from a magazine that it renders you stupid. Don't feed it to your kids. Isn't there like a bunch of MSG in like top ramen and stuff like that? 
Maybe they sell top ramen with MSG free now. She really went and purchased a whole stall. I wonder if she's really serious about this steal or selling Chinese food thing. She's such a talented pastry chef, though. Grandpa must be rolling in his grave right now. Oh, it's Marin. <gasps> Marin, what's going on here? Is Ria Cafe closing down? Where have I seen this kid before? Seems familiar. What do you mean seems familiar? Atma, you know who that is. It's Marin. You know Marin. Oh, can't go that way. <laughs> There is one way we can go, though. We can go this way. You're currently writing pen pals back? Aww. Danielle just got a couple pen pals recently. One's in Australia. Papa promised to play catch with me, but he's so busy lately. I wish I could play something alone. All my friends are busy with their game bots. If Papa abandons me like my friends, I... Poor kid, I wish I could help him. I wonder what would happen if I helped him now. So this was his papa, right? Hello. Those, these stones. Yes, if people truly believe that they have magical powers, I can sell them at 10 times the price. Let's see, what's the story for this one? Uh, it has the spirit of, oh, I know. If people believe the end is coming, yes, this will do it. <laughs> Very nice. So he is a con. Papa, play with me, please. Papa's busy, kid. Go play by yourself. He's a con. How dare he? I mean, we've already suspected that, but still, reality hurts. <laughs> you must lose your memory every jump. That's probably what it is. You probably, that's probably why he's like, I don't know who that child is. You probably lose, lose your memory because you're going back into time, huh? Wait, oh, hang on a sec. Did I go every direction there? Let me go back. I did, okay. So... Okay. I wish I could play something alone. All my friends are using- are busy- are busy with their game bots. If Papa abandons me like my friends, I- Poor kid, I wish I could help him. Idea. I wonder what would happen if I helped him now. So are you saying that I go back into time, give him a game bot? Give him a game bot in some degree, right? I guess so. Right? Let's see. Let's see what happens if we go back into reality. Ria Cafe. Oh, God. Do you see that? Well, it's not like I need to buy. Look at this disgustingness. Uh, excuse me. I hate when they, they pose like that. Isn't that Ria's Cafe Pastry Chef? What is she doing? Are you all right, chef? Cake. What? The zombies. Cake. Um, are you all right? Give me cake. Give me cake now. Crap. Is this because of space dive earlier? Atma, tell her we need to pass through. Do you think she will listen to me? No. Ah, you can space dive her though. Go ahead then. We need to go in fast before Raya endangered herself. But uh, am I going to have to manipulate her mind again? Have you ever space dive in that position before? This is the first time for me. All right, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Cake, cake eating all the cake what's that is there something in there laughing cake give me cake oh no 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 this is my fault isn't it i screwed i screwed her up with space dive uh hmm grandpa grandpa please come back i'm lost without you uh oh all there is here is cake Cake, cake, cake. Wait, Grandpa, does she mean the owner of Ria Cafe? I'm back. Did he? No, that can't be. It was only a few days ago I, that I bought a cake from him. I mean, this is a lot of cake. I 
Ouch, what kind of cake is that? It's so hard, I nearly broke my jaw. I'll probably need some kind of tool to cut it. Tool. Okay. There is a cake slicer here. And something written on the table. The true treasure lies within a two-tiered triple alternating vanilla and mocha cake with white frosting on top. Okay. Let's remember that. Now I want cake. Facts. We're looking for a two-tiered triple alternating vanilla and mocha with white on top. Two-tiered... That's this one. No? No, that's this one. This one? Huh? There's a slice of paper. Is this a will? Signed, your grandpa. Hmm. But her grandpa isn't dead. I talked to him just the other day. It couldn't have been that long ago, could it? It's hard to keep track of time at the moment. Anyway, I, I should give this to the chef. I picked the right cake out. You recognize this. Grandpa. Chef? Your grandpa, did he pass away? Grandpa, grandpa has, is dead. And I, I, I failed him. There's nothing left for me now. Nothing except cake. Even though I, I hate it so much, I despise it. Cake! Hey, hey, Runes1. How you doing, Runes1? Yikes, now what? This is new. You can't even use your space dive, Atma. No, I can't. I think I broke her earlier with a particularly invasive dive. Oh. Oh, no. You need to find something else. It's not just that she keeps us from passing through. It's... Well, the fact that I was the one that caused this is weighing pretty heavy on my conscience. And technically, I gave you the red magic book earlier, so it's my fault too. Are you sure this is a safe thing to do? It's not, but it actually makes me feel better that we share the burden. Don't worry, I'll find another way. Okay, so the only thing I can I can think of is going back this way. Oh, wait, hang on a sec. There was something on the ground there. What was that? Coconut pandan syrup. Liquid used to flavor many desserts. Maybe that will help against her? Yeah. Let's go see what this commotion's all about. Oh. Key lime key cap manis. A legendary sweet soy sauce commonly found in Soto places. Uh, what's all this commotion? We can't get through. You do not know the significance of this celebration, people. The Linden Festival is an arcane night where your pleas to the heavens will be answered. Come, come, arm yourself with the blessing of the ancestors and char change your life for the better. To turn your back on me is to turn your back on the truth. You are merely deceiving yourselves. Remember that. Hmm, this crook again. Is it true? He might be right. Uh, maybe I'll buy a gemstone or, or, or two just to be safe. And people are starting to believe him. Can't fault them. Uh, right now, it really looks like and feels like the world is about to end. I don't suppose you have an idea about how to break up this crowd, do you? We could probably space dive him. <laughs> ah, there we go. Or we can take a detour. Maybe that's faster. Whatever you decide, I'll be right behind you. I shall space dive this monster. I gotta learn more about him. I, 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 I do. Yeah, I do. Hey, Mary. I just bought this on my PS5 yesterday, reminding me of To The Moon. Yeah, the same developers that um, also made this game. If you've ever heard of the game Coffee Talk, um, another game kind of similar like this, Coffee Talk talk they de developed that game and that game uh, got really good reviews too i never personally played it myself either but i've heard great things about that so if you do like this game and you like the developers that made this game check out coffee talk as well the end is nigh come with me and salvation will be upon you 
Yeah, save us. Don't abandon us. <laughs> yeah, now you're hearing me. Used to be that no one gave a damn about what I had to say. I always said I'd be here till the end. And the end is nigh. So this is the source, huh? I wonder if there's anything I can do to remove him from this pedestal. The child! The child can help me re remove him from this pedestal. There's a statue of a kid here. There's a glitching shape near the feet. It's a, it's a ball. I don't see anything like a ball here. I should re uh, search somewhere else. It's gonna be the rift, yeah? What if I hit the light? Oh. I'm not anything to anyone. Hustle. I need to hustle. I need to be rich. So I need to get the ball, right? From the child. So we know how to get that, right? Go back into the rift and maybe get the ball. I will be back for you. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Hear good things about Coffee Talk? I've heard good things about Coffee Talk as well, too. Now, I hadn't tried to put the will. Let's see. Will? Grandpa's dead. There's nothing left for me now. Nothing except cake. Okay, we have done this. Never mind. Don't worry. I'll find another way. Okay, let's go in here. Hopefully then I can grab the ball. You think I can actually get it from you? The last will. Huh? What do you want? We're not open yet. I still... Please take a look at this. Oh, go back in time and show him the will. What's that? This is my grandpa's last will. So it's true then. Your grandfather is dead. The owner of Ria Cafe is dead? Yes, he passed away just days ago. In this timeline, he's already dead. Then who the hell did I meet in the cafe back then? How come you have my grandpa's last will, but know nothing of this passing? Who are you, anyway? It's not important. I'm here to help, though. Would you please read the... <laughs> it's not important, but I'm here to help. <laughs> Would you please read the will first? Okay. My granddaughter. You know how I've cherished this cafe since I built it myself all those years ago. You've always been a perspect uh, perceptive girl. The cafe is precious to me. My greatest regret is that I never had the chance to show just how much more precious you are to me. You inherited my talent from baking, but I know deep inside that you don't carry the same passion for it. I'd be happy if you continue baking for Ria Cafe. However, all I want is for you to be happy. You want to honor me, have the courage to pursue your true dreams. Above anything, I want you to be happy. Aw, Grandpa. Is this real? Grandpa, it, it, it's real, I promise. I knew that if I didn't show you this, you'd have kept working here out of a sense of obligation. But you need to know your grandfather loved you and wanted you to be happy. And what do you want? Well, I, I, I do love making Chinese food. Garlic, onions, chili, there's no better feeling than watching customers eat the things I make for them. I'm a big fan of the Chinese food, I will say. I... I could see where the love is, but I don't know if I'll be able to keep going alone. Would you help me? Sure. What do you need from me? Could you take the orders from the customers? I'm gonna go myself. I'm gonna go get myself psyched up to cook. All right. Well, you got it. Nice. Uh, yes, child. What would you like to uh, have? Oh, uh, you're taking the orders, bro. Sure thing. I want char, char kuei tiao with lots of chilies, maybe like three. Actually, I don't want to spend the rest of the night trapped in the bathroom, so uh, make it two. Two is enough. <laughs> the child is having uh, problems with... The... Okay, right. Um, hello. Oh, you're taking orders? Hmm, I'm pretty hungry, actually. I have one fried rice. Hold the key cap manis. manis. Wait, a second thought. Uh, the miwat fried rice sounds more up my alley. I'll take that one, please. I have to remember all these orders, don't I? You taking orders? All right, let's see. I'm craving some noodles. Maybe fried noodles? Actually, I'm trying to eat healthy, so noodle soup would be better with an egg sunny side up, please. And I don't know if Marin... Marin, are you taking order? What's going on here? Is Ria Cafe closing down? Where have I seen this kid? Okay, we're not taking orders there. Okay, I've taken orders now. Did you already take everyone's orders? I did. Okay, list them out for me. What did the kid in the green shirt want?
He won a char kway tiao with two chilies. Next order. What did the lady in the striped shirt want? She wanted fried rice without uh, keycap menace. Next order. Noodle soup with an uh, egg sunny side up. That's all. Okay, let me cook them up. There we go. Woo! Hey, uh, that was good. Here's the money. I'll be back. That's the chocolate kid. That's the, yeah, that's the Augustus, uh, Augustus Gloop kid. What's going on, Lizzie? The food was amazing, just packed with savory deliciousness. I want some Chinese food now. Thank you. Please come again. Ah! Uh, Uh-oh. That was really good. I apologize for doubting you all this time. Thank you. Don't worry about that. I know what you've been thinking, and I'm here to tell you it's okay. Your grandfather would want you to be happy. Go chase your dream. Ria Cafe will be fine. What will happen to it if I'm gone, though? I will continue in your in your steed, and I won't let the cafe fall apart. Don't worry. I'm a good baker, too. Come by sometime, and I'll give you some of my pastries. Um, excuse me. I haven't seen Grandpa in a while. Is he okay? Um, I just want to buy a black forest cattel. I want to share it with my friend. I think she'll love it, too. Your friend? Your friend Araya. Friend? Um, Grandpa is... He, he has, uh... Don't worry, okay? Ria Cafe will be open for business tomorrow. And you'll get your black forest, right? I will go do my... I will do my best to be as good as, uh... Tumini? Tumini over here. I guess that's the first time we've learned of their name. Kraya. You really don't mind if I leave, right? It's fine, I can handle this. Go make your grandfather proud. I'll leave them to it. <laughs> I wonder if Miss Tumi... Tumimi... To to mini to mini, will really end up making Chinese cuisine. I need to get back to the present now. But before I do that, I gotta go check on the child. Yeah, and about the ball. First I was craving chocolate cake. Now I'm craving Chinese food. Hell yeah! Hey kid, I have your ball. Papa promised to play catch with me, but he's so busy lately. I wish I could play something alone. But all my friends are have game bots. Poor kid. I wish I could help. I. Uh, idea let me have that yeah i wonder what would happen if i helped them now can i sir child I, I i really want that ball but maybe i need to find a ball somewhere else and rightfully so i need to find one then i will this is just nothing right oh yeah that is nothing there okay right i would like some noodles too that's how i'm feeling give me some noodles Okay, so now that we go back into the rift, everything should be fine with Chef now, right? Ah, yes, Chef is good. I'm sorry, I'm closing up. There's this town that's famous for its local produce. Ingredients like that will add a whole other dimension to my flavors. So, farewell, onward to Chinese cuisine. Ah, she did end up going then. I've really changed her future. I wonder which of Miss Tumini is the real one now. Atma, are you okay? What are you thinking? Nothing, let's get going, shall we? So we actually cleared this way. Go in here. Game bot. Hello, good sir. Hey Atma, let's play. Sorry, dude, no time right now. Don't be so boring. Here, check this out. I'll uh, lend it to you. Uh, what? Sure, okay, thanks. A pocket-sized box with buttons and a screen. Is this a portable arcade game? It's a game bot. It's cool and hip and uh, rad, I guess, too. And let me let you in on something here. I think this thing's gonna be big. You can take it anywhere, play on your own, swap out the cart to play different games. Sounds great, but uh, what about the arcade? <laughs> arcades are so outdated. Who even goes to arcades anymore? Well, actually, well, don't try and talk me out of it, okay? I'm gonna close the arcade and make a fortune on GameBots. 
Gonna be rich. Hmm. Seems a shame, but guess there's not much I can do to change his mind. Hey, Dixie Chick. How are you, Dixie Chick? Okay. With that being said, um, let's see through here, yeah? I don't know. I don't think there would be a rift in here. Probably not, right? No rift. But we did get the game bot. Let's see. Nope, no rifts. I, my, one of my favorite handhelds grown up was the Game Boy SP. I loved the Game Boy SP a lot. I played a lot of Pokemon on the Game Boy SP. I played a lot of Harvest Moon on the Game Boy SP. I put a lot of hours into Harvest Moon on the Game Boy SP. It was a very good time. Let's help the person out. Hello. I'm sorry, Marin. Hey, kid. Uh, who are you? Papa said not to talk to strangers. Check out this thing, though. What's that? I can play with that? But Papa always said not to play with strangers. He dropped his ball. Thank you. I can take the ball now. <laughs> not that he plays with me anymore, either. Well, I guess I'll play with his uh, stupid thing, I guess. I don't know. Whoa, what is this? So many games and something so small? With this, I don't need to play with Papa. Even better, I don't even need Papa anymore. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Don't need Papa anymore. Give me the ball. Thank you. This ball must have some sort of significance to that man. And it does. It does, and we know exactly what it does. We need the ball so that the man will stop conning people, stop preaching about these gemstones, so that he can go and play and have his undivided attention or i guess have his attention towards his child and not worry about money 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 the space dive you in front of 12 people i'm not anything anymore anything to anyone Hustle, I need to hustle. I need to be rich. You don't need to be rich, my man. Money is not the answer. Money is not the answer. It won't fix all your problems. It will fix some problems, but not all your problems. Papa. Let's play catch, please. My kid. That's right. You used to love doing things with me. And now, not even a call. What am I doing with my life? My kid, my kid, uh, I was so deep in my own world, I neglected him and now he won't even talk to me. What's the point of being rich if I don't have my boy by my side, my son? Whoops, maybe I shouldn't have done that. What, is he crying? Hey dude, are you selling or not? I have my money right here. All right, calm down person in the back, quiet. Get out of my sight. My son, my son hates me. Dude, that's not our problem. What's gotten into you, man? I need to find him. I need to apologize. Hey, where are you going? Everybody clear out. Nothing to see here. Maybe I jump in and start selling the gemstones. <laughs> Let's go. This is lame. He's gone. At least. I feel bad. But he probably had it coming. Right? Atma, you're awfully quiet. Huh? No, I, I, I mean it's nothing. God, she would totally end me if she knew I messed with this past. Let's go then. Oh God, who are you? Hello? Are you all right, sir? Too busy, too busy right now. Yomen bubblegum rappers must get them all. I don't have time for this. I should have collected all the letters while I had the chance. Ah. Is that what that is? Wilderness ketchup. What do they add to this? Some people said it's fabric coloring and rotten papaya. So, interesting. What the heck? Oh, this is the festival, dude. Ooh. Uh oh. Whew. The doomsayer was acting weird. But we're finally past that awful crowd. Yeah. 
These are... Oh, goodness gracious. Hey, Alexander, how you doing? Oh, look at that. That's so cool, though. The, the fair, the, the Ferris wheel. I've had this discussion before. I, I will never, like, ride a carnival ride if it came off of a semi-truck. The festival, Lintang Festival, has finally started. But these people, something's wrong with them. Is all this Raya's doing? Did she use her power to organize this festival and manipulate people into coming? Raya, what's happened to you? Atma, what's going on? You're quiet. Uh, nothing, really. Are you sure we can take a break? If you're tired. No, uh, really, I I'm not tired. Let's just, let's move on. We need to get to Raya immediately. Okay. To the school, then. Oh. It's closed. Oh, the internet cafe. You weird-looking, creepy-looking people. <laughs> oh. Java ginger soda. Java ginger soda. Good for the digestive system. And that's the last bottle cap. Oh, really? I got all the bottle caps? Whoa. Sick. Hey! Page in the letter. Or letter to the page. Or letter to... Yes. They collected. Now check this out. My bottle cap collection. Oh, it's so pretty. All colorful and shiny. It's like treasure. I used to have more. But I left the rest in my hometown when I, when I moved here. I actually used to have some too. Oh yeah? My mom gave it to me, but my dad threw it away. My mom didn't look like she cares in the slightest. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, Atma, what do you think is your most precious treasure? Uh, well, for a lot of people, that's family. Some people would answer friends, too. <laughs> I have neither. I don't have any treasure to be proud of. Nirmala, anything can be treasure if you want it to be. You said this bottle cap collection looks like treasure. Well, then it is, because you say so, yeah? And now you can start collecting your own treasures, too. Anything can be treasure, if I say so. What's yours, Atma? What's your most precious treasure? My most precious treasures are all my sweet memories. Because not even time can take them from me. Lame. No, Narmala, that's not lame. Hey, you asked. Well, I regret it. Oh, this one looks rare. Yeah, this one's from a limited edition. You know what? Let's pick the 20 best caps out of these. You're on. Oh, I love it. I love it. What was that? My head. New fairy tale. That's what that was. Oh, a public payphone. It's broken. I can't use it. I have a bad story with a public payphone in real life. Really bad story. <laughs> oh, it's me! Uh, don't let... Those two reach Raya, you hear me? Oh God, here we go. Uh huh. Who's that? Oh no. Hey, come back here. Didn't he say Raya? He didn't get a look at his face. Who was that? Beats me. Oh, you could space dive in the old man using the cap to get. Last word Yoma quest? Is that right? Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. Let's run after him. Is that Eric? Not so fast, punk. You again? Back in the arcade? Oh no, this is not Eric. I'll never forget what you did to me, you little brat. Well, duh, it wasn't that long ago, was it? Sensei and I kicked your ass real good. Shut it. I'm gonna even... I'm gonna get even the score with you, brat. Well, bring it on then. Come on. Dun 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 dun. The thugs come up. Hey, that's not fair. Still want to fight? Come here. We'll flatten you like a pancake. Yeah, we will. Atma, let's run. But uh, I could barely take on a cat, let alone these guys, and you need more backup. Let's split. It's fine. Let's go. Sensei. <laughs> I wonder if I can bring all these people with us. We might be able to, right? Let's go talk to this guy. Nope. No. I guess not. No space dive? I guess if we had all 
of the letters, right? Maybe. But this is open. Let's go this way. Oh, wait. That was the way we came from. Wait a sec. Go back. What if we went that way? That's the full. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bella! Hang on a sec. <laughs> Bella did it again. Bye, Mel. Dog? He just has a he just runs into stuff, dude. Alright. Right. Hmm. Let's actually go back. Let's go back. Now, can I actually do with anything with these people? I, I want to see. The best of all. Lintang Festival, the best of all. Move your body. It's festival time, of course. Festival, festival. The festival is here. They're out of their mind, aren't they? Enjoy the festival. I guess so. They're just too happy. Ah, Sensei. That's right. If we have you with us, we can take those thugs out. But we gotta figure out how to make him a saint, yeah? Sensei? Is he one of your teachers? I don't recognize him. No, it's my sensei, of course. Baron, let me introduce you to the guy that will help you help us beat those thugs. This man trained me to fight and be strong. This guy? Hmm. Really? Go ahead, kiddo. I'm not the one you're looking for. What? But Sensei, these thugs, I need your help to fight them. There's so many of them. Uh, just quit it already. It's just a game. The city, it's politics, it's people. They're all just a big game. Hmm. Yeah, he's definitely not there, right? <laughs> these people, the ones in power and the ones with their hands dirty in the street, they're all the same. There is no justice. All there is is life and a temporary happiness. Happiness. You'll understand when you get to my age. Enjoy the festival, kiddo. What? Sensei, what are you talking about? At my word? You're saying that this skinny nutcase is going to help us fight those guys? He already fought them before with we, with me right by his side. Looks like he already lost all his fighting spirit. It happens to adults a lot, you know? Damn it, my space dive earlier might have caused this. What are we supposed to do now? Can you space dive him again? That's the thing. The red magic book isn't reacting at all. You're not in control of the book. Look, Marin, I don't know where you got the idea that I know what I'm doing. The book tells me when to space dive someone, not the other way around. What? Oh, no, no, no. That isn't good. All this time, I thought you were really in control. The artifacts are all useless. Ouch. What is it? The wand reacted, which means there must be a rift nearby. Let's find it, shall we? This is the rift over here. Right there. Rifted out of control now. Let's do it. Hey, not given. How you doing? Are you already done, Pat? All animal to get true ending? I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean by that. I've never played this game, so I'm not sure what you mean by that. There's something stuck in the coin slot. A coin on a string. It's an old trick to use the telephone booth multiple times without paying. Who comes up with this stuff, honestly? But still, it might be useful. Coin on a string. Coin on a string. I guess I could take that to the future, yeah? the heck is going on here little munchkins that's fr that freaks hanging out down by the river again she's so weird i know right it's like she's a river spirit or something so a bunch of kids uh talking about a freak steamroller this bulldozer sorry bulldozer is in the way but the operator is nowhere to be found 
That freak, yeah? That freak. Whoa. Juan reacted. There must be an unopened rift nearby. Wait a sec. You're gonna go into a rift again? You're gonna double rift it? I guess we're gonna double rift it? Okay, now we're gonna get really lost in the sauce now, aren't we? This is crazy. So double rift. Okay, let's see here. It's locked. Right? The wand reacted. There must be an unopened rift nearby. Karate. What is this sign? Looks like there's something there, but it's too dirty to see it properly. This bag is filled with trash. Look at this weird drawing. Did you see her face when we stole her bag? Oh man, she was screaming like a banshee. Somebody stole something. Seriously freaky. What are we gonna do in the next karate session? More pranks? I don't even know if there's going to be a next session. Her sensei is closing down the dojo. Eh, I'm not fussed. I'm only here because my dad wanted me to be. Pass me the shoe. Oh, they sell Dragon Box X comic books here. But why is it spelled Dragon Bow? And the publisher is different too. Garuda Graffiti? The artist's name is nowhere to be found. And the dialogue is different. Is this pirated? Dude, why do you care? If you want a pristine original book, go to some fancy bookstore. Hmm. That's a comic book. What? That's mine. Oh wait, are you interested in Karate Boy too? Karate Boy is so cool, especially in chapter 1043. He was like, boom, then pow. Man, I really want to be cool like him. Let's see what he's talking about, yeah? Chapter 1043, is it really that interesting? Karate Bow. <laughs> uh, karate Boy. I guess the pirated one, Karate Bow. Next page. Oh my lord. This comic is jam packed with action. Alright. This is really interesting. To be continued? Ah, to be continued, yeah? Very well. He looks like he's crying. Man, Karate Boy is so cool. Why can't I be like him? Oh, Space Dive, yeah? What are you looking at? Mm, I, uh, get lost, weirdo. Karate Boy. Space Dive? Into this gentleman? Huh. Come on, new guy, show us some skin. One more set, one, two, three. If you wanna join our bike gang, you gotta do it. Come on now. Hmm. Is this really what it takes to be a man? This humiliation, it's torture. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Oh, whoops. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. There's a word first etched on the frame and a comic panel an elbow attack. So elbow. There's a word second etched on the frame in a comic. Okay, so first, second, third. Elbow, foot, and, and, uh, fist, yeah. Cool. 
Wait a sec, hang on. Yeah, we're good, we're good. <coughs> Let's see. Elbow. That's all punch. Kick. Kick punch. Okay. Kick, punch, elbow. Kick, maybe? Kick, punch, elbow? Kick, punch, elbow. Kick, punch, elbow, yes. Kick, punch, elbow. I'm seeing kick, punch, elbow. Yeah. Hmm. Kick, punch, elbow. Let's see that. Kick, punch, elbow. Let's remember that. Kick, punch, elbow. Maybe? Let's go. Kick. Punch. Elbow? First, second, third. First. Maybe as many times as you count, right? Yeah. As many times as you count. So we have to read, we have to, we have to count every single individual one, okay? So, kick, two. I can't tell if that's an elbow or not. I guess it's an elbow. Okay, that's that has to be an elbow. No way, that's an elbow. There's like a chop, so maybe the chop doesn't count. Okay, so let's go back. One. 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 Two, 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 one, okay, so let me recount that, got to recount it. So one kick, one elbow, one punch, right? Two kick, two punch. So one elbow, two punch, and two kick. Three punch, three kicks, two elbows. Four punches. Five punches? I forgot how many elbows. Three elbows? Four elbows? Six punches? So six punches, four elbows, five kicks, seven punches. Oh my god, dude. Um, I'm counting seven punches? Okay, let's let's go one by one here. Let's go one by one. Let's do one. We go kick. Let's start with kicks. One kick. Two kick. Three kick. Four kick. Five kick. Okay, so I have five kicks. So someone remember that for me. Five kicks. And then we're gonna go punches. One punch, two punch, three punch, four punch, five punch, six punch, seven punches. Okay, so we have seven punches. So five kicks, seven punches. Now I'm going to go to elbows. Uh, 
One elbow. I don't think that's an elbow right there. I think that's a karate chop. So one elbow. Two elbows. Three elbows. Four elbows. Did I get four elbows? Okay, let's try that. So what is it? Five kicks, seven punches, four elbows. I don't think the chops counted. Obviously, I don't think that's an elbow. Or, it, yeah, <laughs> it didn't look like it. So then we go, the first is elbow. So how many elbows did we have? Four elbows, four elbows. How many kicks did we have? We had five kicks and seven punches. No. I guess we miscounted. Did we miscount? Look back into it. I don't know if this is like an elbow. Maybe you're not doing the right ones in the right places. Well, the first one says elbows, right? I think I am doing them in the right place, right? Four, five, seven. One, two. I see five kicks. Five kicks. This is an elbow. This has to be an elbow. Unless they're correct, they're c counting the chop an elbow, which they might be. So maybe we count that elbow. So. Maybe stick with the with that, yeah. Three elbows. Three. Okay, three elbows. Let's try three elbows. We'll we'll keep on to what we have. We'll just switch it to three elbows. How about that? There we go. You see three elbows? Let's do it. Let's do three elbows. Okay. Try it again. Run it back. So, you are looking at three, five, seven, I think. Three, five, seven. Hey, let's go. Hooray. There is a Karani GI inside this wardrobe. Give it to the child. Hey, don't let yourself be humiliated any longer. Here, cover yourself. Oh, I don't want to be naked anymore. This is, yeah, kind of weird. Yes, this is what I should be wearing. Dependable and heroic. That's what being a man feels like to me. It can be like Karate Boy. That's right. Rather than joining some bike gang, I should train to be a karate athlete. That's There's a dojo nearby I should join. Yeah! There we go. No biker gang for you. Oh no, the dojo is closed. Now I gotta open that up, don't I? I gotta open up the dojo now. Wait a sec. I think I can use this. Talk to the little kid here. Oh no, the dojo is closed. Okay, so maybe there's a rift around here. No? Or we have to talk to some of these people over here? Uh, children, 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 children. What do you know? Did you hear that the dojo is closing down? Maybe I need to go back into the rift. Ah uh, yeah, I probably need to go back. I need to backtrack, I think. Yeah. 
Let me just double check by the pirated guy, right? Oh, there it is. Rift. Okay, there's. Nice. Cool. Oh, God. Don't try to spoil too much. Don't try to plan ahead. Don't... Don't type ahead. I gotta figure out these things myself too. So try not to try not to, you know, tell me the next step. All right? It's open. All right? Let's go inside. All right. It definitely is. Looks even earlier. Back into time. The payphone is still working, but I don't know who to call. Well, I do. Ghostbusters. Hey, sir. Hello. Uh, what is it, kid? Your bulldozer is in the way. I want to go over there. And I want a job where I don't have to operate heavy machinery in 40 degree heat. But we can't all have what we want, right? Buzz off, kid. I'm only doing what was I was told. Yeah, I can't argue with that, I guess. <laughs> Where's Sensei? I saw him heading off towards the alley, muttering. What? So we don't have practice today, yes? Let's go play then. Okay, so he's back in the alley. So we have to find a way to move him. Something is written here. E.T. Rota Jazza Construction. How's my driving? Call this number for complaints and inquiries. Hmm, maybe I can call them and ask them to move the bulldozer. Yes, yes, yes. With that, we use the coin. On a string. Ah, oh, I heard there's a trick you can do with a payphone and coin on a string. I can use it with this payphone. It feels wrong, but this is an emergency. Should I use the payphone to call PT Rhoda? Yeah, you should. Call them. You're speaking with PT Rhoda? Uh, construction. We nail it so you don't have to. How can I help? <laughs> Hello, one of your bulldozers is blocking the road near the Net Cafe. Uh, uh what now? Yeah, right. Uh, I mean, the do dojo, the road near the dojo. Roger, Roger. <laughs> That's correct. We're doing construction work for PT Bunga Company near the dojo. Dojo. We can move... Not doja cat. Uh, we can move the bulldozer, sir, but only either in front of the dojo or in front of the alley. Can't you move it to both routes so that both routes are clear? No, sir. We're operating on a tight permit. Where do you want the bulldozer to be? Uh, can you put it in front of the dojo? Yeah, put it in front of the dojo. Roger that. I'll convey that to the operator. Well, thank you. Hello? Huh? Someone complained. I need to move the bulldozer, okay? I need you to move the bulldozer. Ah, sensei. Maybe he's right. Maybe this dojo thing is stupid. I wonder when they're holding the next entrance exam. He, who's he? Space dive. He, particular. Okay, again, we're back with this. There's a few people that are here. What are they doing? How about it? The civil service is easy money, a real solid option, especially compared to this karate gig of yours. Why are you doing karate anyway, eh? Are you trying to get back at me for dunking you in the toilet in high school? That's ancient history, man. We're adults now. You can't still be mad about that. Wrong. You still can. Forget the past. You should be worrying about the future. How you're gonna find a wife. Uh, right. What the heck? What is this? What does this key open? Dojo? I trained so hard. Also, that nobody would ever humiliate me like that again. But my school bully is a super successful man with lots of power now. Uh, no matter how hard I train. Don't worry, my school bullies in real life, they're either... Uh, I hate to say it. Uh, well, I, I'm not going to say it. Never mind. <laughs> they might not be on this planet anymore. Uh, the per punches will never reach the ones at the top. So, what's the point of training at all? So there's going to be something in a code wise. We're going to have to go back into the dojo and find a code of some sort. Uh, let's go and move the uh, bulldozer back so that we can get into the dojo. 
Yes, yes, yes. And, uh... Oh, wait, maybe we can't? Oh, wait a sec, hang on a sec. Time, time out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do I need to get the key back again? Or the, the coin? Oh, no, I can just call whenever I want. Okay. Yes, I need you to move... In front of the in front of the alley now. That guy must be so upset. Ah, fine. Let me cut my smoke break so I can move this thing out of the way for you. Thank you. All right, the key. Oh wait, the key to the dojo. Okay, never mind. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. You don't think I need to go back again? Was the dojo... No, the dojo wasn't open then, either, because... Wait a sec. Yes. Yes. Hang on a sec, let me see. Let me go all the way back. Because this is when the sign was down, right? This is when the sign was down. And then I think I can go back again. I might be able to access it, or the locker. Nice. Dojo locker. There's a cleaning spray here. No one would mind me borrowing it, right? Cleaning spray. Cleaning spray. I don't think... I think that might be the only thing we need for the key, right? Let's just go back into time, though. My god. <laughs> Going through so many. Oh. Okay. Let's go back. <laughs> cleaning spray. What the heck do I need with the cleaning spray? Cleaning, cleaning. We got the locker open. Let's see here. Do you have anything to say about what I just did there? No. Wait a sec, can I actually... Um, I don't have the key anymore, right? Yeah, okay, so I don't have the key anymore, so that tells me that we did that correctly. We got some sort of cleaning spray for this uh, action here. Are we in the right dimension? I can't remember if we are or not. You know what, actually? If I move the operator, will the bulldozer be actually here? I want to test that. Yeah, let's let's test that. I want to test that before I go back, yeah? Test it and put him in front of the dojo. Will that actually move it in the past too? Probably not, huh? Let's see. Probably not. We had to move it anyways. Okay. It didn't move it, right? It didn't move it, yeah. So let's talk. So we actually cleaned that. So that shows the symbols, right? Yeah. So it shows bird, star, and triangle. Bird, star, and triangle. Bird, song, and triangle. Right. Okay. So let's call. Maybe. The future. Move back. Go back to the alley. Bird, star, triangle. Bird, star, triangle. Watch for that. Actually, I don't need to call you. Never mind. I'm good. There we go. Okay, let's see here. Third star triangle. Okay, interact. It's not a bird. Third star triangle. It's the sun. Okay. There we go. Nice. This logo, my dojo. That's right. I opened this place to train others so that nobody has to endure 
harassment. They need to be brave and unrelenting. Relenting. With a character like that, they can stand up for themselves and others. There's a special kind of honor in sharing the fruits of your labor with others. This dojo. It's my chance to educate and make real change. I can never give up on my students. That's right, we have practice today. My students are waiting for me. I can't just stand here flip-flopping about their future. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah. There you are. Look at him. Where are all my students? Come on, we have practice today. Look at all them. Ah, oh, no day off? Well, no way, Jose! So let's get the uh, let's get the operator out of the way. There we go. There we go. There we go. Bulldozer in front of the alley. There we are. Hello. Get us into the dojo. Where are all my students? Come on, we have practice today. Now you should go be able to go inside yours. Yeah? Absolutely. So let's go back into time now. And that should change this time. Yeah. Sensei, I want to join your dojo. I want to learn under you to fight injustice in this world, just like Karate Boy. <laughs> I see myself in you, young. Young one, of course you can join. Practice starts today and you're and you're ready, right? Yes. Alright, very good. Cool. So overall, I mean after all, the, the kid didn't join the biker gang. You guys say anything more about that? Practice day today, let's train harder. What do you have to say about this? Sensei, I want to join your dojo. I want to learn under you to fight. Okay, very well. Same same dialogue. Alright. Cool. So that's going well. Look at that. Karate do. Karate do. Strike later. Strike soft. Have mercy. Wait, what? Strike later. Strike soft. Have mercy. Very well. So then, going back into time, they should not be there. Right? Oh, I need it. I haven't changed that either. I haven't. Oh, that, well, that doesn't really change anything. Okay, the kids are over there talking and whatnot. So that should have changed, I believe. Yeah. Ah! Look at him. So Sensei, as a... F so Sensei didn't self-doubt himself. Well, I say self-doubt, but maybe... He always stayed true, so to speak. Crap, it's the goody two-shoes karate teacher again. I can't abide people who use their strength to prey on the weak. You'll never beat me, Beanpole. What the heck? You're outnumbered. Get him! No, he's not. Yeah! He stayed true, and then the biker guy says, uh-uh. And he breaks through and he says, I'll fight with you, sensei. No, or I'll fight you, traitor. Oh, I see. He's going up against. No. Backstabbing. No. You, you, I know you. Never mind. Disregard. Sensei, you taught me how to fight. Yes. You taught me the important it is to protect the weak. Yes. Like the karate boy kid. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You, my boy, you came around. And I will, too. Yeah. Nice. Now, see, three versus three, a fair deal. Against one or three, it doesn't matter. I'll send you bozos home in body bags. All right, we'll see about that. That's awesome. Cool. Easiest punch of my life. Just give up already. Why bother when you when you know you can't win? Do you have something to do with Raya? Raya, you won't reach Raya. Watch out. There we go. What the heck is this? All right, who sent you? Answer me. No one. 
Brat, I only answer to myself. Lies, I saw you. Stay focused, kid. Uh... Oh my god. This is getting a little bit more complicated. I like it. It's like diagonal. How do you do diagonal with the damn keyboard? You won't stop me from getting to Raya. Hey, Fit Rat, how you doing? You fight well, both of you. Yeah, so strong. I'm out of here. Oh, you useless rats. You two, this is our chance. The boss is vulnerable. Let's finish this fight. Oh my god, X? Don't let reach Raya. Ah, it hurts. And he yelled for this bomb. Rightfully so. Ah, justice has prevailed. Sensei. Sensei, are you okay? Did the thugs hurt you? No, Sensei is in poor health. His weak heart. I've been telling you this for years, Sensei. You should take it easy with all the fighting. Any other job would be better for your health, but... You insisted on sticking around to teach us karate, putting yourself at risk. I told you a thousand times, kid. I'm fine. This is my calling, to teach resilience and honor. Sensei, you... Uh... Speaking of... Who, who are you, kid? I don't remember having a student like you. Um, uh, Sensei? I'm just a fan, I guess. You might not remember me in this timeline, but you will always be my sensei in this timeline. What are you talking about? You're weird, kid. <laughs> but you're free to join the dojo if you want. Definitely, maybe I'll come back tomorrow. Okay, right. You have, all, you have some purpose to fulfill, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. Go forth, son. And do what you need to. The dojo will be here with open arms when you're finished. Thank you, Sensei. Hey, Jessica. How you doing, Jessica? Hey, Day Day. What's going on? Marin, let's hurry. Atma, what's happening? Are you crying? Uh, let's just go. Come on, Raya. Raya's at school, right? Yes. All right. Let's go. Uh... This is uncle, yeah? Or, yeah, uncle. Yeah, uncle buddy. He's going crazy for the festival, too. You're not going crazy, right? Pram, Pram? What happened? Where did you go? Miss Nikon? Pram, are, are you... Pram? I don't think she can hear me. What the heck is happening with her? What the heck? There's a car in that house. <laughs> Am I Mr. Miyagi now? No. I wish. Um. What happened, Baron? School is just right ahead. Come on. That's the thing. I'm kind of nervous. I'm not sure what will happen at school. We have to prepare for anything. Are you sure you're ready to proceed? I think I need to go somewhere else. Um, we don't have time. Let's get going, shall we? All right. I'm right behind you. Uh, can't you tell everything's happening around us? It's time to go. The school. We're close. Wax on, wax off, baby. There's a rift here. And that's Raya's flower that I must destroy. <laughs> do you feel it? What? In the air? Do you feel it in the air tonight, Phil Collins? Like the chill that sets in that twilight was somehow different. The air is thick with magic. Something is happening. Raya. Oh, please, Marin. Please be careful. Whoa! Good God. That was the bulldozer. That would have hurt. It's like when Chris Angel got ran over by the bulldozer. What? Can we get your best Miyagi impression? No. <laughs> no chance. Is that a plane? Uh. Crap. Raya. Marin. Did something crash into the school? 
They'll stay here. No, no, no. The crash site. They were both right there. Are they? No, please. Damn it, I can't get in this way. The, the, the wall. The wall. The magic wand is reacted. Maybe the explosion created a rift. Get in there quickly. There's no time to waste. You tried. <laughs> you thought it was going to do it, too. You thought it was going to happen. Almost. Almost. Just like up dog. <laughs> you know, Miyagi could do up dog, right? You already knew that, though. Okay. So we have to, like, somehow prevent a crash site or something? Or maybe get them out of the crash site? Wait. What if I found Raya in this timeline? It would be a lot easier, right? Hey, anyone see Raya? I think she's skipping school. Why are you looking for that freak? Want to join her cult? As if. Lulu's out for blood. Probably going to actually murder her this time. Uh-oh. Ah, is that bad? <laughs> if there's one person I never want to mess with, it's Lulu. Oh, what I'd give to, give to be on the fly on the wall when Lulu finally gets her hands on her. My lord. How can they talk like that about Raya? It's just, just horrible. Why do they hate her so much? That aside, I, I guess I won't find her anywhere around here at that moment. I should find another way, or another time. Let's see. Ryan is finally going to get what's coming to her. Now Lulu's out to get her. They, they all find this funny. It's not funny. What's with the crowd inside the classroom? Eric just asked a girl out, and it didn't go well. I don't know what Eric saw in that freak. Maybe it was a prank. Now him asking Lulu out? That I can't believe. I hope he doesn't, though. Sh uh, so she can date... What, you? You mean, uh... That's probably less likely than the freak getting crowned prom queen. Harsh much? Yeah. Okay, right. What's up, dog? Not much! What's up with you? Huh? I recognize that piece of paper in the trash. Atma, this form again. It's been crumbled up and scribbled on with a pen. student's name. Someone wrote their name here, but then scrawled over it and everything else. Somebody started filling this out, but now it's to totally il eligible. Formula Doodle. What is this? A formula? I don't recognize it. 11 equal 2e plus i. I'm pretty sure we're going to need to know that, so I feel like I need to write this down. 11 equal 2e plus i. Okay, inside the classroom. The wand reacted. There must be an unopened rift nearby. So there's another rift in here. Seems like there's a formula on here. That's a weird formula. 2K equal 3N. Oh, God. Here I go. I'm going to remember everything, ain't I? Yo, back up. Boss is a little touchy right now. He just got turned down by a girl. All right, right. <laughs> okay, dude. So, this is when it crashed and burned, yeah? It's a weird formula. 3 minus 3n equal minus i. This table has pretty has been pretty badly vandalized. It's covered in horrible insults. Okay, that's terrible. I feel like I needed that. Can't go through because of all the debris. Maybe that's a formula I need. So that formula... So a couple formulas, right? We have... I gotta remember this. 3 minus 3n equal minus i. Then there's a formula on the board. Then there's a formula in the trash. 
Okay. These are the same, right? Yeah, these are still the same. What the heck? Ah, oh, man. High school's almost over. No more hiking club meetings. Oh, it's the hiking club people. I know, right? I, and I never even got a girlfriend. Oh, oh, okay. Someone I can watch a movie with snuggled up in a dark room eating candy. Well, yeah, of course. That's what we all did in high school. We all fantasized about getting a girlfriend and a boyfriend and said, you know what? I cannot wait to snuggle up next to that person in a dark room eating candy while watching Shrek. That's the whole point of high school. It's the dream, the ideal teen date. My heart is throbbing. Mine too. Let's do it. Huh? Let's watch a movie together. Oh! They're confessing their love. You mean with the rest of the club? No, dummy. Do I really need to say it? I'm asking you out. A movie date? Just the two of us? Sick. I love it. There's a piece of paper at the top of this locker. It says, Property of Nikon. Can I turn the TV on again? That is... What? The reception is weird. Okay. So we found out they... they oh, dude. That's awesome. They confessed their love to each other. Finding Nemo? That's just an excuse just to touch the butt, okay? My dear students... Kids, don't forget to submit your math assignments for extra credit. Good marks might even get you a gold star. Signed, Nikon Astari in the SPD. Hello. Hey, did you see the notice the math teacher put on the wall display? She talks like we're still in kindergarten. It's so obnoxious. She tried to ask me stuff about my home and family like that's any of their business hey that's on you man never do anything unusual in front of that freak i told you uh, none of that stuff she rambles on about makes any sense she's totally detached from reality ah oh, man that last raid by the teachers got me real good what did they confiscate from you my crowbar man you brought a crowbar to school that damn math teacher snatched it out from right under my nose it's probably just sitting there in the locker in the library with all the other stuff she's compensated to. She uh, lectured me for hours, all because that girl saw me with it and snitched. Hey, that's on you, man. Never do anything unusual in front of that freak, I told you. She'll just go and tell the math teacher like always. What the hell are you doing with a crowbar anyway? That's what I'm saying. I was going to raid that uh, vocational school up north with the, with the guys. Okay. Now they're going to think I chickened out. So crowbar in the in the safe. My lord. I did it. You did? Uh, where did you hide it? The back of the cafeteria near the trash cart where it belongs. <laughs> Amazing. No freak will never find her bag there. Oh my god, dude. Everybody's mean to Raya. She's gonna be all like freaking out. Jesus Christ. What is everybody's deal here? She'll never find her bag if she if it's behind the trash cart. I'll find it. The math makeup test was crazy hard. But get this. I saw that weirdo girl taking it too. Oh, yeah. Why is she the topic of everybody's conversation? Wonder what happened there. She's the math teacher's favorite student, right? Do you think she was cheating to get to the top of the class all this time? Like, you're the one to judge. Dude, who doesn't cheat these days? Look at all the stuff in the trash can. Wow. That's subtle. Hopefully the teachers won't uh, don't see all that. That probably had to do with the um, that formula we saw before in the trash. <sighs> it's always gets so tense around here when there's a festival coming up. Okay. Are they talking about Marin or are they talking about Raya? Oh. Ma oh. Oh. What the heck? She ran away. They're talking about Raya, right? They have to be talking about Raya. Hmm. The contents of this bag have been spilled everywhere. Who could it be heartless enough to do this? N equal four. Oh, crap. Raya. Oh, this was Raya's bag, yeah. The bag is really dirty now. It's kind of hard to look at it. 
name. This is Raya's bag. Raya never told me that she was always bullied. Wonder what other parts of her life I don't know about. I want to know everything. I want her to be able to tell me. I agree. Paper. What is this? A formula? N equal four. God, there's so many formulas, dude. And what are they all for? I have no idea. Probably for something. So N equals four. Don't piss off Raya, she'll bring her dragon. That's P. Uh, Sherman 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney, right? No. It was N was part of the equation in the classroom, no? <laughs> uh, Linting Festival is a total hot mess right now. At least stuff's gonna get sorted now with Lulu in charge. Man, she really told that freak off. Ay, ay, ay. It's locked. The padlock is broken. So the crowbar probably will do something with that, right? The crowbar? I can't open the toolbox. I think the dumb padlock's busted. I'll probably need a crowbar to pry it open. What the hell was that freak girl doing to it? Do I remember all the formulas? Um, if it gives me a multiple choice option, I might, yeah. Okay, they're all accessible here. I just need to figure out where to actually use them. Oh, wait. Hang on a sec. Let me just double check over here. I might need to go back to the library. Yeah, let's go back to the library. You wrote them down? Yeah, if they were done in multiple choice, I probably would, uh... I probably would, uh, definitely be able to remember them. Because the padlock, or there's a lock in here, right? There's this. We want to get that. This is the infamous confiscated goods locker. There's a padlock, but what's the combination? Holy crap. It's a five-digit combination. And it probably has to do with the... You don't think it has to do with the equations, do does it? How many equations were there? Were there five? There was four formulas. So we need to find a fifth formula. Now the real question would be like, in what order too, you know? Unless we didn't see every single formula. Oh, the first has five. Oh yeah, let's go to the trash can. Let, okay, let's let's backtrack here a little bit. Let's backtrack. Yeah, the classroom. The classroom. Or well, this one's outside. So eleven. Eleven. What what is this? A formula? I don't recognize. Eleven equals two e plus i. You're telling me you're not telling me I have to do this equation, are you? You better no, no no no. Is it that the formula solutions, first one is E equals five, I equals, oh, I see, I see, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, okay, F, I need a pen. Hang on a sec, let me write this down too. I'm out. Okay, I see, I see, I see, <laughs> I got you now. I understand, I understand now. I understand. Okay. First formula. Got it. Okay. I get it. Hey, Sven. How you doing? 
I sent you a message on Discord about a possible fix for definitely not fried chicken. Okay, sounds good. I'll have to look at it after the stream, but yeah. Some people are telling me I'm screwed, which hopefully that's not the case. 2K. Pools. Three in. Okay. Uh. Math was one of my strong suits, one of my strongest subjects in, in school. I was not good at science. I was terrible at science. Science was my least favorite. I was good at drama class, you could probably tell. I aced drama. Okay. So there's those, and then there's, I think... There's the one behind the school, right? This is gonna be a big number, I feel like. I, I, I think it's all one big number. I don't think there's anything else here. There wasn't enough, yeah, there wasn't anything there, okay. The bag had N equal four, is that what it was? I just wanna double check, double check. Double check, double check. Okay, N equal four, okay. That's all the, that's all we, we got, right? I think that should be enough. So let me see here. I think there has to be another formula. Okay, 2k equals 3, 2k equals 12, k might equal, I think you can figure out what k is <clears throat> with the n. I think there is another formula. There's two slides at the trash. What did you tell me? I equals minus nine. Yeah, I think I'm missing E. I think I'm missing E. No, it's I equals nine. I equals positive nine, right? Because minus I. You could do, uh, you could find K, right? Has anybody found K yet? Whoops. You could find K, yeah? E would be one. Okay. E equals one. N equals four. K equals... We should be able to find K. I think we should be fine. K equals six, that's what I thought too. Okay, that's what I got. So then that is the equation, right? Oh no. 11 equals... Did we find I? Did I miss I? I is 9. And 11 is 11. So, okay. So, it should be... Maybe... I got five digits here. I got 14611. 
I got five digits, which is the amount of numbers that you need in the library, right? Right? 11 equals 11? Wait a sec, that's four digits. Frick. Hang on a sec, let me see if this works though. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Oh, there's a piece of paper at the top of this locker? It says property, oh, never mind. <laughs> I was like, is that gonna throw me a loop here? What's the 11 from? I think I need another letter. Uh, 11 was 11 equals 2e plus i. So i equals 9. Right? Is what we got. At least that's what I'm reading chat here. I equals 9. E equals 1. So that would be 2 plus 1. Or 2 plus 9 equals 11. Four nine six one four Nikon. Oh, four nine six one Nikon. Hell yeah, brother! That is it, cause Nikon in uh, yeah 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 Nikon. It spells out Nikon. Oh frick me, that was wonderful. Yes, it's unlocked. Ah. Whoa. There's a lot of weird stuff in here. What the heck is that? Uh, here's a crowbar. I might need it to break down the wall. We did it! Hooray! Let's go. All right, we got to actually break down the uh, box first. Good teamwork. Absolutely. That's a good teamwork moment. I approve. I approve. That's a good teamwork moment. GG's, everybody. Now I have this mess of paper with a bunch of numbers and letters scribbled on it and it's originally a paper that i needed for my wi-fi password <laughs> hey nice thanks dude uh no problem uh i don't need this a sledgehammer dude i'll take it uh, where's that darn screwdriver everything's all messy and she at least put everything in its correct place I will take that. This hammer might come in useful for destroying the wall. Yes, we will destroy the wall. In the back, right? Yeah. Ho! Ho! You're using your fist, actually. I would have died there picking that lock. I wonder how many people will get stuck on that one. On that puzzle. It's still standing strong, but I made quite a good progress with it. Maybe the wall will collapse as time passes. Ah, very well. Now we go back. See, it's better to work out those problems in chat than to just get the straight answer. You know what I mean? Somebody who's played or watched this game before could have just been like, the code number is this. And that just would have ruined the fun. <laughs> that would have ruined the fun. All right. So now the wall should be broken. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, just like that, I thought I weakened it enough that the plane crash made it collapse. Now I'm finally inside. I need to find Raya Marin. Where could they be? Check all of your corners. This isn't you, Raya. Oh, right. Okay. All right. All right. Everybody put on your seatbelt. Here we go. I do have a seatbelt on. I got to make sure I don't fly out of my chair. It's not right. That voice. It's Marin. She's talking to Raya. He must be all right. Marin, Raya, where are you? Let's go. No answer. Need to find them. You spelled Nikon Keenan? <laughs> he almost got it there. Almost. This has nothing to do with you. Oh, it's going to be Raya. That's Raya's voice. It has everything to do with me. Listen, Raya doesn't have to answer to you. After what you've done to her. What is happening? That's a guy's voice. Who is that? You need to get closer. I agree. 
Whose guy's voice is that? Uh, who the hell are you? Oh, a student at this hour? At this hour, sir, there's a freaking United Airlines plane just like crash into the damn school here. What do you mean, this hour? What are you up to? Why are you still here? Did you have a detention? Sir, I think there's bigger problems we have here. Haven't you seen? Sir, the school's been destroyed. Are you all right? Why did you evacuate? You should get out of here. What the hell are you talking about? Are you on something, kid? What's your name? I'm going to write you up. Is he in a different... What? Huh? I'm Atma, sir. You know me. Atma, you're definitely on something. Atma's right here. Look. Oh, no. Is that us? <laughs> what? What the hell? Who? Who are you? This student is a bad apple. That guy's voice was our voice, right? A troublemaker, right? Get rid of him. No, 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 no. Oh! Ah! Please stop, sir. This isn't you. Don't talk like you know me, brat. Let's go. Of course I know you. I'm the real Atma. What are you talking about? Good. I know you're confused. I can explain. No, no, this is wrong. You damn brat. Take this. Let's go! He has a seatbelt on, but no pants. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Anna Mama, how you doing? Doppelganger. I think it has to do with the uh, the time traveling that we're doing. That's probably why we see ourselves. Because I think we're in the present. I don't even remember where we're at. Is this the present or not? Ah, what happened to me? You remember me now, Atma? Yeah? Atma? I don't know an Atma. What? Of course you do. Please, let me through. This is important. Mm, I have to. I have to get rid of you. What the heck? He just like laid down and took a nap. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't have a choice. I need to find Raya and Marin. Maybe they're at the yard. How did you do the diagonal? Uh, basically, two keys. Two keys at once. So like down and left at the same time, or down and right, or up and right, or up and left and that way. I kind of want to go this way. No. All right, we're going to the yard. Please. Huh. Don't hold the entire town hostage when I am on the one you want. Don't flatter yourself, girl. With, with what worth could you possibly have in Raya's eyes? Raya? That's enough, honey. Uh-oh. Raya, Marin, as I approach, this is gonna get awkward. Ah. Atma, I, I, I thought you were gone. That's why I made another. Um, <laughs> that's why I made another you. Wait, what? What another me? I was devastated. I didn't have a choice. But now we can be together. You want that too, right? Uh, what are you talking about? That's not me. What happened to you, Atma? You don't make this even more complicated. Uh, don't you worry. Just sit tight. I'll make everything better again. I just have to erase this nuisance. Raya, I, I'm sorry for doubting you, Raya. Please, tell me how to make this right. It's too late. The wheels are already in motion. The end will come soon enough. No, oh, please, can't things go back to the way they used to be? In the old days, writing stories together? We could be like that again. <laughs> my best friend, wouldn't my best friend listen to the things I say to them, right? Not a single word I've said has made it through to you. You don't have faith in me. You never did. I'm just a freak to you, like the rest of them. I'm sorry. I am. Let me make it up to you. Shut up! You're a piece of my past I never want to see. Don't say that. We can talk this out. I'll make things right. Anything you want me to say, I will. Just tell me how you want the story to go. Story? 
How dare you say that? Everything I say and do my whole life, it's just a kitty fantasy to you. Oh, I mean, uh, right, just like I thought. Should have silenced you from the start. Marin, look out. Be gone! I step in front. Oh, look at that. Okay, I think we just broke the world. Hey, Cash, how you doing, Cash? Oh, we were in the rift. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is... I, I, uh... I was countering Raya's attack with the magic wand, and... Uh, did I accidentally open a rift? What timeline is this? See, and I want to draw the big blue star here because... Um, by the way, I have to go. Huh? Was this Raya? You're leaving? Where? My drawing club, remember? Oh, this must be Raya. Yeah, you have that now. I'm making great progress in that class too. I have this idea for a new completely original comic. Okay, so it's... I'm writing something too. Oh, a new one? Can we work on it together? What's it about? Um, I, uh... I'd rather work on it with my friend. I'm your friend. No, I mean Atma. Keep talking about this Atma. Atma this, Atma that. No, that's, uh... What's her face? Uh... Narmala, right? He's the only one that gets to hear about your new stories. Who is he, anyway? What does he look like? Can I meet him? No. You can't. Why not? I... Well, you know. We're getting a bit old to have imaginary friends, right? What? I'm just saying, you're always talking about him, but I haven't seen him once. So, I thought... I don't have to show you everything all the time, Marin. But... But I'm your best friend. Atma is my best friend. What? What does he do? What does he do that? I, I can't do. What makes him so special? Shut up. Just, just, just go draw your pictures at your dumb club. You like that way. You, <laughs> you like that way more than hanging out with me, anyways. Wait, I, I don't. Uh, hey, wait, don't go. Why, why would, why would you say that? I'm your best friend. What did I do wrong? Why, why do you hate me? Please, I'm so sorry. We're going to space dive Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Omar. How you doing, Omar? What's going on? How are you doing? It reminds you... <laughs> brings old memories of high school in the 90s and early 2000s. So much youth love drama pop references. Well, except that in Supernatural Power and World Ending situation. But other than that... <laughs> Oh, good to see you. Space dive. Hey, Monique. How you doing, Monique? This is Marin's heart. I was thinking the dual color, or sorry, the dual color is so boring. This is the magic wand, after all. You're right. It should be sparkly, like gold. Gold. You beat me to it. It's okay, great minds think alike. We're so alike, it's cute. Well, uh, I'm not really weird like you, but... What? Uh, nothing, never mind. Oh. Marin, the club is starting. Okay, coming. Like, they're best friends, and like, she's like... I, I hate to say, like, she's abandoning her best friend to go to a club, but... Um, I'm coming, alright. This is the door that teleported her to the la to that island. I, I need to follow Merit. I agree. My God, what the heck? This is crazy. 
Oh, no. Let's see what's inside her bag. It is Raya. Let's see. Weird drawing. Weird drawing. And yep, look, another weird drawing. Do you ever do anything normal at all? Stop. Marin never stood up for her best friend? Is that what we got? Oh, look. This one looks like Eric. What? Are you two dating? Yo, Eric's dating the weirdo. Maybe that's why Eric was always so mean to Raya. I'm not. Ah, who would ever want to be with a girl like you? You freak. What's the weird stick thing? Did you make it? The magic wand? Hey. That's my friends. Give it back. Liar. Who wants to be friends with a weirdo like you? Stop it. Somebody help. Marin, help me. And Marin didn't stick up for her. Oh, terrible. Oh my god. Okay. Where is she? She said to meet her, meet here, but I hope she brings a story. I wonder how. Useless brat. Running around town being uh, behind my back when you're supposed to be studying. Oh, her troubled past at home. I've got loan sharks on my ass because of your school fees. And you can't even pass like a normal kid. This is the thanks I get, a freak kid and a useless wife. I'm sorry, shut it. I gave you life, girl. I'm so sorry. She literally had nobody. Oh crap, I don't remember the passage. Door two? Dang it. Okay. Huh, I'm back here again. I guess that's what happens when I choose the wrong path. I need to follow Marin. Okay. So, third door. Okay, I see. I'm gonna pretend like I remember. Brick. Okay. Hey. She goes third door. Okay, she goes last door. She goes second door. No, she goes third door. Maybe. That's what it is. Third door. A okay, third door. Last door. Okay, sorry. First door, third door. Second door? No, last door, third door. Oh my lord. Last door, second door. Okay, last door. And then this should be third door? Because we already did the second door. Maybe third door? Okay. And then second door? Oh my god. I don't know how I just did that. Now, let's rip up her book. There's an empty spot here. Should I write something? How about go die, you freak? Is that too much? Nah, it's not like we're pushing her down the stairs or anything. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Hey, look, I found another one of her drawings. Ew, what even is that? So gross. Get it, quick. She's gonna freak. Hey, Aster T, how you doing, Aster T? Uh, uh, last door? Frick me, okay. Okay, third door. Last 
glass door. Third door. Second door. And then I don't know where this door goes. Which one? <laughs> I did the last door last time. That didn't work. I guess third door again. I already, oh, we, we did the last door last. Oh, unless you mean this door on this end right here. This door. Let's do it. Holy hell. Thank you. Woo. Library. It's Marin and someone else. <laughs> Hiya. See, you still haven't filled out the future consolation form. What about an art or literature major? You've always been creative. Are you afraid that people will judge you? Don't worry. I chose art school and nobody cared at all. It's more important to do something you're interested in. It's your life after all. Well, it's easy for you to say. You know that these that those people treat you differently than they treat me, right? You do it and people let it slide or even praise you. If I did it, I'd get called the freak. You really can't see that, can you? You can't or you won't, I guess just like always. No, I'm not, just stop, Marin. But hey, I know you love telling stories and making art. Remember when we used to write all that stuff in our base camp? You were crazy into it. You looked happy. If it's your dream, you should fight for it. Stop it. You keep talking like I don't even try to fight for it. I'm not Nirmala. I can't do it. Huh. They're like first time, like, I think acknowledging Nirmala? Huh? Wait. What are you talking about? You are... Nirmala. I knew it. No, Marin. I... You wouldn't understand. Atma's the only one who really understands me. This Atma again. Why do you keep talking about him like he's a real person? Because he is real. And we're looking for him. Because you always talk about him so much. But I can't find him anywhere. That's because he's not around right now. I looked in the archives. The city records. The phone books. Even the newspapers from the last 10 years. Shut up. There's no mention of Atma anywhere. He isn't real. You have to move on. We're getting too old for imaginary friends. You don't understand. I'm sorry? Don't. Wait, is Atma real? Atma real? I'm your best friend. What did I do wrong? And why, why do you hate me? Oh, I guess we learned more about Marin there. The snail becomes so obsessed with spreading her magic that she left the south alone in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean. What does the story teach us this time? Aaron? Oh no. Not to one step further. Nirmala, stop it. It's so sad how we grew apart. We were so close back then. If only we could have spoken our minds and been more honest about our feelings. No matter, Marin was always so keen to help, and now she can. She can help bring the end. No, please don't. Why are you turning everyone into monsters? Us? We aren't changing them in the slightest. <laughs> What's so funny? You're so clueless, aren't you, boy? We aren't turning them into monsters. We're just revealing their true form. Their true forms? So Eric, Marin, Lulu, they're all monsters? That's crap. 
This isn't Marin. Not anymore. This is Raya's perception of Marin, twisted by anger and jealousy. Her deeply held grudge means this is how she sees their true forms. All of this is Raya's doing? In a way. We did all this to save Raya. Can't you see she's getting weaker by the day? It's true. Her constant denial is hurting her. She looks this hatred she lacks she locks locks this hatred and conceals it in a pretty packaging. Is this, in this illusion, you all call her world. And if she keeps using all her energy on it, her life will be in danger. You're not serious, right? We need to do something. Raya has been uh, has to be able to face the things she's kept inside all this time. Sounded like Raya. You can't be here any longer, boy. Wait, what should I do? I should go now. Interesting. So everything that is happening... For the most part, is Raya, Raya's perception of how everybody is a monster to her. And there's the snail. Raya, please. I want to understand your fantasy. Shut up. Write more. More stories. What's it going to take to get you to stop talking? Like old times? Enough with your babbling. Shut up. Oh, I. somebody said shut up over here. Shut up. Shut up. Just shut up. All right, everybody shut up. There's so many of Atmos. I don't need you. Ryan, no. Don't do it. Oh! Don't interrupt. Can't you see she's in pain? We're here to feel her pain. To be with her. Not like the others that just upped and left. As I thought, everyone's gone. Just disappear like you always do. Oh, oh. Oh. Raya? We can space dive Raya? Thankfully, she's still breathing. This time I'll help you, Raya. Oh, here we go. This is gonna get juicy, isn't it? This is gonna get real juicy. Hello, Mr. Co-Rider. Long time no see. I know. I'm sorry I've not been around much lately. It's okay. You finally have a part-time job. That's great. But what about you? How's your story going? Well, it's... It's a secret. What's with the attitude? <laughs> it's late, and it looks like it's gonna rain. Come on, let me walk you home. I don't want to go home. Everything is so empty and lifeless there. I can't write or draw or anything. Did something happen at home? Everything happened. I want to be like you, Atma. I want to run away from home. Help me be like you. Like me? I could be independent, live on the outskirts of town, be free. And what will you eat? Um, I can eat grass and drink dew from the grass. Two for one. Lame lamest idea ever. Come on. We could be neighbors and write stories every day. Ramala, I, I know you're feeling a lot of emotions right now, but it's better to wait until the storm has calmed until you can see straight. Don't worry. In the storm, you'll find your sunrise. You're just trying to get rid of me, aren't you? Like everyone else, I'm useless. I'm sorry if you think like that, but it's not it. I ran away from home, too, to come and live here. And... I didn't care where I went. I just wanted to be anywhere but my hometown. Hey, Marcia. Thank you, Marcia, for the re-up on the membership. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Marcia. <laughs> then I landed here. Didn't have anyone to... Sorry. Marcia. <laughs> I didn't have anyone... To... Is that coming through me? I haven't had anyone to count on. I lost contact with all my friends and relatives. All because I had this bad idea to trace my chase my dream as a writer. That's cool. I I apologize for the ding dongs. 
I think they're going to go away soon. But the reality isn't as cool as you think. I have to work hard just to survive, and I don't have the time or energy to be creative. I'd almost given up, but then I met you. Your spirit, your care, everything seems fun again. And you got a great story, so sincere and so touching. You made me want to write again. More than that, you saved my life. You did? And you didn't even realize. I didn't know if I can fix the problems you have at home, but I can help with your writing. I know that the Star Princess story is important to you, so why don't we work together to finish it? Really, you mean it, yeah? I do, I promise. Well, thank you. Will you go home now? <sighs> For me? Fine. But can we stay a little longer? At least until the sun sets, yeah? You drive a hard bargain, Miss Co-Writer. Well, finish the Star Princess story, whatever it takes, right? Of course, I promise it with my life. Have a good one, Masumi. Do take care. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. Atma! It's useless. Ah! I... I'm coming. Coming for you. No, Atma, no. We have a story to finish. Don't leave me. I'm alone. This seems like a pretty deep story, is it? I've just come in now and didn't uh, didn't see the first part. Yeah, it's a very, very, very deep story. It's a real. It's it talks. It's, it reflects a lot about uh, anxiety and depression a lot. Yeah, it's a really deep story. The dream again. This time it feels so real. Nirmala. This looks like the room from Nirmala's space dive in my dream, but this time the flowers are withered. Maybe it's not a dream. Let's find Raya. She must be around here somewhere. Withered yellow flowers. They look miserable. In the deepest, darkest corner of the galaxy, there lived a star princess who called the planet of her own creation home. This fairy tale, it's the one that started it all. This place. Anyone? Raya? Damala? What happened? Uh oh. There's so many different people here. They're they're all glitching. Should I do something to them? They're glitching again. I must have done something wrong. Let's try again. Magic wand. Drowning. No, is she all right? Drowning. Oh, do I have to go into an order? Oh, I wonder if I have to go in order. Hey. Hey, I do have to go in order. Drowning? What happened over there, Marin says? I heard a girl was drowning. More trouble from that brat, her father. I'll beat some sense into her. Where's Atma? Did you get him? Can you see? There was a high school student, a boy. He fell in trying to help me. What do you mean you can't find him? Please help him.
What happened? A kid fell in the river, apparently. Normala, what happened? Baby, are you okay? Talk to mommy, darling. You idiot. Dear, please. Why can't you just go to school and come back like a normal kid? It's causing trouble. The only thing you're good for? Atmo, what is it, dear? Stop whining. Uh, and you quit playing along with it. Jesus Christ, his father is insane. Can't you even keep your own daughter safe? I, uh, someone, please save Atma. You're useless as a wife. Now you're going to be useless as a mother to my child, too. Atma. Wait. Follow. Follow. Nothing here. What's that? Well, it's a TV, my good man. There's something displayed on this TV. A bridge. There's a person, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. Allah? Oh, no. Raya. <clears throat> All right, everybody hold on tight. I can't take it anymore. Everything is a mess. I'm a mess. I hate you. Please, just go. Hey, don't say that. It's me. I'm you. Don't push me away. I can't live without you, nor you without me. We're stronger together. The only way we can get through this is as a team. Just like what Atma said. In the storm, you'll find... No. I want to be a normal girl with good grades and a family and friends that love me. Not a lonely, delusional freak who killed her only real friend. You caused this storm. They happened because of your stupid idea to cross the river alone. They happened because you tried to involve him in writing your pointless story. Atma drowned because of you. I don't need you. I'll live my life properly from now on. No, don't. You're hurting yourself. I don't want you to be hurt. Bullshit. Uh, Raya? Raya, I'm here. Damn it, Raya. Can't you hear me? Nirmala? No, 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 don't go. Raya, Namala, please, let, let me help. Raya. Come on, Raya. God. Wow. Powerful. Yeah, at least that didn't go the way I was thinking it was going to go. Do I want to save? Hell to the yes. In the end, maybe there's nothing I can do. If I'm not even a real person in the first place, then then the real me, the real Atma is is dead. What am I even doing here? Raya Oh, it's the big, uh, 
Yeah. Does Raya have disassociative identity too? Because I feel like she is. I, uh... What? Bosk, uh, you saved me? Yes, despite your outstanding in ep epitude, <laughs> you made it this far. And for that, I salute you. Bosk, are you really the same boss I met before? Who are you? Or rather, what are you? I have so many questions. I'm simply a friend of the princess. Her majesty is waiting, of course. In base camp. Now go. Her majesty awaits. In base camp. Atma. Uh... Namala, you came. Please sit with me. I need a friend. You, Namala, I, uh, cat. What? Why are you standing still? Her majesty demands your company. No, oh, I'm still, uh, you still don't know what to make of us, right? That's fair enough. Uh, do you, in turn, know what to make of yourself? What you really are? A specimen unbound by the laws of reality who cannot perish in this realm. You, who seems to always be the only one left in the dark. If you want answers, then you need to come closer. Got it. I'm sorry I never stayed long enough to answer your call. I missed this. It's been a long time since we've sat together like this. Hey, uh... I'm sorry, I, I really don't know what to say. Are you... Are, are you okay? Who did this to you? Please don't mind me. <laughs> your questions will be answered soon. Ask whatever you want to ask. We will do our best to satisfy your curiosity. Well, I guess the first question is pretty valid. Are you real? I thought you were just a kid from a dream I had. The dreams a lot of people had, for that matter. So, you're real, not just a figment of my imagination. I can't be both, Atma? I don't understand. Are you my friend? You still doubt that? I really don't know, Nirmala. All of this is so foreign to me. We are all here inside a fairy tale without an ending. We won't know what's real until this story is finished. What are you to Raya exactly, Namala? She's my north, and I'm her south. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Once upon a time... Oh no. Is this a fairy tale again? You liked it before. I, I still do, but... Uh, never mind. Just go ahead. In the deepest, darkest corner of the galaxy, there lived a star princess who called a planet of her own creation home. Now, this star princess had magical celestial powers. She could grant any wish. In a flash, she could summon the most delicious food, the most wondrous delights, all but one thing, a friend. The star princess was dreadfully lonely. It was then that she decided to embark on a journey to make new friends, but she didn't want to abandon her beloved planet. And thus, the Star Princess split into two entities, stellar twins. The North Star Princess glowed a brilliant blue, and her twin, the South Star Princess, a rich, warm yellow or gold. The South Star Princess left the planet to find friends in another solar system. And what happened to the North Star Princess? Raya, I, I mean, the North Star Princess, what happened to her? Well, the North, in deepest uh, quietude, felt the same pain and loneliness as the South, for their hearts were as one. But it seemed like she began to hate the South Star Princess. As she began to hate the pain and loneliness in her heart, perhaps because she longed to shine brighter than the South. Her other half, who had left her alone in the unforgiving void of space, I don't know, I'll never be able to understand the meaning of a story that remains unfinished. And I'm not the one to finish it, either. Then who is it? Of course, the ending belongs to Raya. 
the North Star Princess herself. I've missed your in-depth explanations. So then what happened to the South Star Princess? She found friends on Earth, uh, but they left eventually. Long story short, she exhausted her star magic and she died. Wait, what's... That, that's it? She just... That's the ending? Well, of course not. The story isn't over yet, is it? What have you been doing then? I met you deep inside everyone's mind. What have you been doing to them? Ah, you mean turning Eric, Lulu, and Marin into... Sometimes you have to crack some eggs to make some omelets, yeah? I knew what I was doing was hurting Raya, but I just wanted her to pay attention to me is all. To love me again, like she used to. Wasn't that a cruel thing to do, though? Those people aren't real in this world. Hey! Sam! Thank you, Sam, for the two months. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for re-upping your membership. Those people aren't real in those world. They're just fig uh, fragments of North's imag- Wait, oh crap, I didn't hear- I didn't see that. They don't exist in any meaningful sense. And besides, what other choice did you have? The North has been running from the truth, lying to herself. Completely detached and bound from reality, she and the rest of this world are bound to her delusion, just like Her Majesty here now. But- if the Eric, Lulu, and Marin that I met aren't real, then what does that make me? <laughs> That's up to you, Atma. You're an anomaly in Raya's makeshift world. Maybe you aren't the Atma she intended you to be here, but you're certainly something, something special. Maybe you're the one that helped Raya to face herself. Well, what should we do now? Shouldn't I be the one asking you? Me? Oh. oh, look, the new fairy tale script, it's finally complete. Drowned in a dreadful sadness, the North used the last of her power to create an impenetrable uh, barricade in the hope that no one would hurt her in the way, uh, in the way, in the way they hurt the South. Is this Raya? What happens to her? That might be how the story ends. The cat tried with all its might to break, though, but it was no use. The North had used up all her power and not a drop was left. She remained encased in her galactic barricade, asleep for all eternity. What? For all eternity? You mean... No, that can't be. What kind of story is that? It can't end just like this. That's why I need your help. It's up to you to make the edits, Mr. Co-Writer, just like old times. What do you want to do, now that the world is on the brink? Um, I want to save Raya, or I don't know. Thank you, Sam. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Very kind words, too. <clears throat> Save Raya? I want to save Raya. I can't hide here in the past forever. I want to find Raya and save her. That's the spirit. As expected from the hero. I'm lost here, though. I need your help, Nirmala. I... Uh-oh. What is this? What the hell was that? I feel off. Something is really wrong. Nirmala? Atma, I'm sorry. It seems I can't help you after all. All this time, I've been draining my power for nothing. I am now powerless. But you, Atma, you're still free. You must find Raya before everything falls apart. Bring her here to go home. Nirmala, Nirmala! Damn it, she's unresponsive. What should I do? We should check outside. Come, there's not a moment to waste. Very well. Here we go. Have a good one, Susie. Do take care. Do take care, Susie. Thanks for hanging out with us. I appreciate it. Hopefully you can finish the story with us later, yeah? At least uh, watch the replay later, yeah? Wow, this place is crazy looking. 
This is kind of cool, though. I need to find a rift. Hey, okay, time to find a rift. Here it is. Yeah. The rift has not opened properly. Uh oh. Ah, it just broke. That's not good. Whoa. The wand, it's shattered. Cat. Will tear it open? Basque, don't just stand there, boy. Help me on it. Let's go. Help the, gi help the giant cat. I love it. Oh, crap. <laughs> Keep trying. Okay, I messed up. That was my first mess up. Yes, got it. The fate of the north and the south is closely bound. If you want to save them, you'll have to hurry. Enter the rift and find the north. What about you? I have my own business to attend to. Uh, you look troubled. What is it? I still, I, I still don't fully understand. What, when am I? Wh when I am in this world, the nature of reality and Raya and Nirmala, it feels like I don't know them, and I don't know myself either. You need to understand how powerful you are. You say that, but I'm just a normal guy. The magic wand is broken now. I don't even have control over the red magic book. Oh, Atma. What is it? Out of everyone, you're the only person that isn't bound by this world of illusions. Nor are you dependent on its miracles. I have no doubt that you're on the path to realizing your potential, but you must keep moving forward, striving to endure. That's a pretty solid advice for a cat. <laughs> Not just a cat. Besides, I was simply repeating something that was once said to me. Now go. Don't waste any more time. Take care of Namala for me. I promise the South is safe with me. When the time comes, I will come to help you. Here we go. Did you hear? She fell asleep during the national exam, mumbling about her imaginary friend again. Hmm, what a freak. She went on and on about it when I asked. She thought I was really interested in her cuckoo fantasy. You freaky, so freaky. Uh, yesterday, she... No way. She really... Yeah, so what happened was... Atma? That voice. In the... Classroom. Why here? Raya must be somewhere in this realm. I, I need to find her. But also, I need to check the desk. <laughs> no matter what, I always end up at this desk. Thanks. Alright. Raya. Uh. Raya? Keep going? What happened to this place? Well, it's destroyed. You. Is that Admiral? Admiral? You filthy turncoat. You're just like those dumb kids after all. What could Raya have done to make you turn on her like this? W wait, I didn't. Uh, I'm trying to help her, to bring her home. Raya doesn't need saving. This is where she wants to be. Haven't you ever actually listened to her? She doesn't want to go home. How could she? She wants to be happy. What right, what right do you have to tell her any different? Well, she, she isn't well. <laughs> You're just like the rest of them. Judging her for being different. Treating her like a helpless child. She never gets what she wants, ever. Here, she's safe and surrounded by everything she needs. If you really love her, if you really want to make her happy, you should do what she wants. You've been given a role. Sit tight and play it. Isn't that just enabling her? I, I love her too much to watch her hurt herself. Your past salvation. What the fight the cat? What the heck are you? And you have an umbrella. And you just hissed at me. You leave me no choice. What are you saying, Admiral? I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. You're my cat. You're my friend. Oh, believe me. It's not going to be uh, so much of a fight. All right. Here we go. Admiral. 
I don't want to fight Admiral. But I have to fight Admiral. Should I go get a motorbike? Is that too soon? Okay. Want to know something? What? He doesn't even tickle. Oh, God. That's what she said. <sighs> what the? Ah! Puff, puff, pass. The rift is too small for a majestic feline such as myself. Uh, how delightful. The second favorite cat is here. I am Raya's ally, just like you. Raya doesn't pick favorites. Rich to call yourself an ally of Raya's with your record. Boss, it's good to see you. Uh, Nirmala, is she... Her majesty is stable. The time has come, and I am here. Go forth. I'll take care of this one. Oh? Ah, the Tomcat has quite the mouth on him. You should uh, pick on someone your own size. Very well. You might be more entertaining than this. Pathetic excuse for a hero. What the hell? Okie dokie. <laughs> hey, Salvo, how are you doing? I missed the first live stream of this, and now I'm in limbo about watching the first half and missing the stream, or just watching the stream and now being able to conversate with everyone. Oh, very well. The, the first, the, this game is very deep. It is very deep, and it's a very good story. I really like this game a lot. Uh, very much so. The school is crumbling. It's totally wrecked. It doesn't even look like school anymore. What the fu- are those, uh, me, uh, oh, no. Stop right there. The dark Atmos have now appeared. All right. Let's go. I need to hurry. He's gone. Go, go. Oh, there's a the general store. Oh, wait. I got to pick up all this stuff or find stuff. It's the general store. It's Uncle Booty. Is Uncle Booty okay? Buddy. I'm not sure where everyone is right now, but there's fireworks in the sky. There's a cat something here. Even in this ruined world, the cat food is still intact. What is it actually made of? Catnip. <sighs> Both of you, stop it, please. No, I won't stop, traitor. We won't stop. Leave Raya alone so she can be happy. Uh, bam. Ah! Take that, you treacherous scum. I need to hurry. One down. Block. Let me through. That made me sick. Hmm. If you care about Raya, let me through. Shut your mouth, you traitor. You don't care about Raya. Go away. Shut up and go away. All right, all right, all right, all right. I get it. We're all in this. Love to see it. No time to waste. Let's go. Come on. Get out of here. I'm going to sneeze so bad right now, too. I feel it coming. Uh, hopefully I'm okay. I don't want to fight with myself anymore. Me either. I'm fighting myself. <laughs> I'm not trying to sneeze. Ay yeah, yeah. Too late to give up now. There's no end to you. All this fighting is pointless. Please understand. Your treacherous defiance. That's what's pointless. We won't let you destroy Ryan's happiness. Between all of us, we'll put you down. Let's go. There we go. Okay. Oh. I like the fighting in this game. It's pretty fun. I honestly didn't think there was going to be fighting in this game when I first played it. There we go. Okay, let's go. Time to go. This fight is totally senseless. But there's no other way. Keep pushing through. We must, we must look at this dead cherry tree. This dead cherry tree. It's surrounded by its fallen leaves. Ay, 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 stop, you'll go no further. Can't you just appreciate the beauty of this world that Raya created? It's not beautiful, I'm here to save her from it. Think you're some sort of hero, yeah? Well, I might have been. I, I don't really remember, honestly. 
Then stop playing the hero and just give up. No, I can't do that. I won't. I see. Frick, dude, there's so many of them. You guys are going to try and keep me busy, huh? All of us? Not likely. You won't even make it past me. I'll show you how useless you really are. There's so many of them right here. Okay. First one's down. Or not. Why am I talk so... Huh. We are one and the same. I know how you fight and how to counter it. Damn it. Maybe I have to use something other than violence. Blocks? Good block. Your experience hasn't betrayed you. Go away. Okay. So maybe I don't attack them? So let's not attack. Just block. <laughs> Sensei taught you well. Let's see how long you can last. Huh, just wait, I'll destroy you. I don't think so. I'm holding on, dude. I'm not fighting back. Fight me, you coward. Can't we settle this without fighting? Enough of that peace-loving crap, you dumb hippie. <laughs> I embar I'm embarrassed to share a face with you, coward. How long are you going to keep this up? As long as you are, or until you're dead. I'll never give up on Raya. Why? Why won't you surrender? After you, hero. I'll never yield. I'll protect Raya until my last breath. Raya is in greater danger here. Danger? She needs help, our help, urgently, before it's too late. Can't you see it? Shut it. You don't know anything about her. I know she needs to go home. Home? There's nothing for her in that place. And there's something. Someone, actually. She has a South Star Princess. Uh, South... Princess? Princess? Ah. Princess Star Princess? Here's my chance. I can attack him now. Ah! Uh, why are you doing this? This world. It's the only place that Raya can be happy. No, you're wrong. This world. This illusion. It can only offer a false temporary bliss. And in the real world, her body fades away. I'm here to save Raya from that late fate. Last fate. You talk big. Like, you know what the future holds for her. I don't. All I know is that she needs to be saved right now. That's what matters. Sure hope you're right. No! The cats are fighting in the background. Will you guys stop it? Knock it off back there. Thank you. You must see reason. We're both on Raya's side. We saw the same vision. You left her when she needed you the most. I was a fragment of her past, as, sh so as, should, you, as should you be. We aren't there more anymore, and we can't help uh, haunting her like this. I refuse to put myself on your level. I can promise you that neither heaven nor earth uh, could move me from this position. I've had enough of your insolence. You cannot pass through, even if it kills It seems it's well past supper time, and we find ourselves in need of a fancy feast. Atma. Yes? Be a good kitten and find us some food, will ya? Okay, I know where that's at. Hang on. I know where the cat food is at. Hold on tight. That is not it. There it is. Time to feed the cats. <laughs> Yeah, you're damn right. Time to feed the cats. I don't think I saw this. Everything is crumbling, floating, frozen in time. It's awful, but also somehow beautiful. I guess so. Here we go. Yes, a high quality cat food. I put down the bowl that my Please serve it there. All right. Here we go. Honorable Queen. 
Behold the food our hero, hero has laid in front of us. Surely you don't propose to fight on an empty stomach, now do you? It is temptingly, tempting, arranged in a respect wait, receptacle, in the receptacle, but I have to. Mm, screw it. Ah, yes, adorable kittens, we must pass through now. As they chow down, uh-oh, they already ate. Now that we've broken and kibble together, it would be foolish if we couldn't see eye to eye. <laughs> I love it. But both of us want the best for the Star Princess. I don't want her to be alone either, but we can't let her hide in this world forever, spinning in circles, chasing her tail. You're right. We both want the same thing. And you too, Atma, of course. Yes. I promise me one thing, though. If I let you pass, you must save her, whatever it takes. I wouldn't dream of doing anything different, friend. Then you may continue on your journey. Before you left, have this key. A key for what? Well, I told you, I, I had my own purpose. You'll need it later. Now go. What about you two? It's long past our bedtime, but for now, uh, might we see what else this world has for us, may it, my queen? As you wish. Ah, as we broke kibble. <laughs> That's all we need in life is just to break kibble and bring peace to the world. Alrighty. Oh. Hear that? Very faint. Humming. Oh my. Oh my, indeed. Raya, Adma, my darling, my love, you're here. Are you ready to complete the bucket list with me? <gasps> the bucket list, we can be together now. No one will interfere. We'll be together until the end of the world. Raya, I, come Atma, watch the end of the world with your beloved in your arms. No. I'm here to save you from this delusion. What? Let me help you. Come with me. Nirmala's looking for you. Stop saying that name. Do you hate me? Do you want me to suffer? I... You don't love me anymore, do you? I do. I still love you very much, which is why I need you to go back. No, 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 no. I don't wanna. Why won't you listen to me? I'm happy here. Tis, tis. You disappoint me, Atma. Now what? You want to beat me up and uh, make me submit? I don't want to use violence on you, ever. Please, just come with me. Hmm, how kind of you, but still. <laughs> don't forget that I'm the one with power here, my love. Listen to me or else. Oh, crap. Oh, no, no, no. I need to defend against Raya's attacks. Okay, we could do that. <laughs> she uses her little finger. You must have a strong resolve to be able to resist that. I expect nothing less from you, my love. Raya, listen. Uh-huh. Save your breath and resist this. I need to dodge? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh! This is- This is insane! Raya! I'll have to punish you. No! Please don't punish me. You're strong, but kinda insensitive, aren't you? Haven't we made beautiful memories together here? Why can't you just embrace this? Ah! Ah! Ah, that's a moped! She dropped a moped! From the sky. Stop running around, you're no fun. Ah. All right, I know what's wrong. Can we just appreciate the art here <laughs> also? You do? Jeez, how can I convince you to see the beauty in this world when it's so messy? But I have an idea. Let me take somewhere, uh, take you somewhere. I'll show you something beautiful. 
Raya, what are you doing? Look, Atma, it's time for the fireworks show. Raya, yeah, I know. Let's make it more sparkly, shall we? Uh oh. Ha! <laughs> I need to dodge, alright. It's like the ultimate boss fight going on right now. Ultimate boss fight. Those are fireworks we're dropping on us. Whoops, it doesn't feel right. Uh, there's no spark of joy. Fireworks look best when they explode in the sky after all, don't you agree? Raya, we should just... Uh, <laughs> hey, don't look at me like that. The spectacle is over there. See, that one looks like a flower. Isn't it crazy? So beautiful. It's a scenery that I've been longing to see and show you. We can only see it here, in this world. What's wrong? Stop it, Raya. We should go. But the fireworks... Yeah, they're beautiful, but they aren't real, are they? So, that's how you see it. A fake. I failed once again. I've worked hard for this. Raya. Fine, then. No more fireworks. We're just getting started anyways. Here I come, Atma. Darling. <laughs> You're getting more and more tense, Atma. Because I'm worried about you. Don't be. Just let loose. Do I have to dodge? Whoa! Yep. I do. Ah! Oh, God. Okay. Stop running around. You're no fun. No, no, no. I, I'm fun. Trust me. I'm a fun person. Holy crap. Let's go. Trust me, Atma. You can have everything you want here. That's not what I want. I didn't know you were so picky. Can't you at least try and have fun? No, I refuse. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Ah! Here I come, Atma, darling. Ah, this is crazy, dude. This is insane. I still have a surprise in store. You're gonna love it. Get ready. We're going somewhere wonderful. After this date, I'm not sure if I would want to go on another date. <laughs> Raya, don't. If you can dodge a moped, you can dodge anything. Anything. Surprise, surprise. I welcome to the Cat Wonderland. Ah, the Cat Wonderland that we experienced after the movie theater, I think, right? When we went to the movie theater with her, the date. Meow. Let's play meow. Let's have fun. Whoa, who the heck are you? Show me your moves, Atma. Fight. I need to fight now. All right. Let's fight. Future fighter. Ah, the future fighter billboard. Nice. This is the mascot from it. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> That's fun. You're having fun too, aren't you, Atma? Is it fun, meow? Fun, 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 meow. We can't. This isn't the time for fun. What? I thought you loved Cat Wonderland. There are more cats than ever. I even added your favorite arcade games. Do you need more? Isn't this enough for you? Why? Uh, you're confusing, meow. All I want is for you to get better. Atma doesn't want us, meow. No more playing? No pets? I made all this for you. Can't you just enjoy it? You not, you're not as fun as I remember. I'll have to punish you now again. I mean, am I upset if I'm getting punished? <laughs> you said you love me. Then stay with me. No, I can't. Don't you play with my heart. Oh, God. Uh, uh. Oh, good lord. This is so crazy. I'll have to punish you. No, please don't punish. Well, actually, kind of, yeah, a little bit. There we go. 
This is getting a bit tiring, you know. Don't you want me, darling? Can't you stop resisting? Can we stop this riot? Stop? Oh, you sweetheart. No way. Absolutely not. Moped! Ah! Another moped! You're putting me in a corner. Two mopeds. Ooh. Ah. Ah. I'll have to punish you now. Come to think of it, next time I'll be sure to make you the right Atma. There's no need to waste more time here. The right Atma. Stop it. You've used too much of your power. Shush. Just follow me, Atma. No more punish me out. This, please. Ah, uh, this feels better. Hmm, I know you're more accustomed to this side of me. Guess so. Isn't it curious? I used to hate this place, but somehow it keeps calling me back. You called me back here. But I wasn't here to begin with. Right, right. I always wanted you to be here to keep me company through all the pain and loneliness. I wish to be with you forever. And here, I can make that possible. Raya, no, don't you want the same thing? Tell me, Atma. Tell me what do you wish so dearly. Stay here until the end with Raya. Be together forever or have fun with Raya for eternity. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, wow. Big decisions here. Stay here until the end with Raya. Be together forever or have fun with Raya for eternity. Honestly, they all sound like the same answer, just kind of a little bit different. I have a feeling be together forever might be something. No? Punish me, daddy? Excuse me? <laughs> she's protecting like she always has. She doesn't understand she doesn't need any, any more and that she's doing more harm than good. She only knows to protect. So Atma is the manifestation of Raya's broken heart. And she split or her soul became Raya and Nirmala? Stay to the end? Do we stay to the end or be together forever? Ooh, this is tough. Obviously, fun with Ryan for eternity I don't think is up for discussion. Be together forever? Be together? Okay, here we go. Be together. And? These words aren't mine. This isn't right. So what is it? What do you wish for? Ah. So those words weren't right. Those words weren't Atma. So stay here until the end with Raya. Stay here till... Uh, what's the matter? Is it really that difficult to tell me? I must resist. Come on, Atma, say it. Yes, have fun with Raya until for eternity. Have fun for... I can't. Why are you so resisting it, Atma? Raya, enough. All right, stop it. I can't stay here, Raya. We can't. Why? Why, Atma? Are you bored of me? Did I do something wrong? No, it's not that. I'm a freak, am I? You don't want me anymore. Just like everybody else, huh? That's not true. I just want my happy ending. Raya. I've spent so long preparing a happy ending for us. Now all I need is your company. You deserve so much more than a manufactured happy ending. If you don't want my happy ending, I should just keep you here with me. Forever. 
Raya, I need to get free. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. I hit the Windows key on accident. That was a terrible mistake. Why? Why do we even... Why do even my own dreams betray me? Betray me. I really am worthless. Not even you want me anymore. Raya, if you're just here to make me miserable, then get out. No, I, leave me alone. Everyone really hates me. I don't. Please, trust me, Raya. You, why are you here? Why are you doing this to me, Eric? What? Raya, it's, it's me. Shut up, Marin. Ah. Lulu, please, I'm not fake. Leave me alone. Raya, please snap out of it. Please forgive me. Are you him? Don't hurt me. Raya, it's me. I won't hurt you. Please, you're trapped inside your own... Shut up. You freak! Ah, uh, who are you? Hey, look at me, you're nothing. Eric, stop. Why do you keep picking on me? Oh, crap. So Eric is laughing at her. She hates that, obviously. This is depression, dude. I think this is full on depression. Leave me. Oh, Lord. Oh my god, that was a fist. We almost got fisted. You're useless. You can't do anything right. Just stop trying. Lulu, why can't I just be like you? Okay, let's dodge everything. Oh. Ah. Stop it. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be seen with someone like you. I don't want to deal with your baggage. Just die. Oh my god. Marin. Marin, you said Marin! Please don't go. Oh my lord, Marin. My lord. I think these are just made up things though. I don't think these people might have not have actually said these things. I think this is just what she perceives it as people are saying and talking about her, maybe. Go away. At least to some degree. I don't know. I can't... I can't imagine Marin told her to go die. You're such a disappointment. What the hell is wrong with you? You're worthless child. That's her dad. I wish I never married your mother. I wish you had never been born. Mom, why are you just standing there? He hates me. Dad really hates me. Her mother doesn't stick up for her child. Mostly. Not blaming the mother. Mostly because she's in an abusive relationship, so she can't really. She's kind of... Her hands are kind of tied, right? Go away. This is the ultimate boss battle of all time. You're useless, you giant freak. You are such a failure, and I don't want to be your friend. Just die. Okay, I will. I will. Just, just stop, please. Raya, please snap out of it. This isn't real. Oh, no. Shut up. Don't, don't do this, Raya. I have to free myself from her power. I agree. Oh my lord. I've never zed so much in my life. Raya, stop. Please, everyone, just leave me alone. What am I? Why am I doing this? I put so much effort into being perfect. Into being someone I could be proud of. The perfect girl that my parents and my friends want me to be. But now I don't even know who I am at all. Armala? Huh? Just 
still have Nirmala deep inside you. No. Don't call me that. But that's your name, isn't it? You are Nirmala. Stop it. Raya. I can't see anything. Where is she? I have to look for her. Guess we'll run this way. Wow, this is kind of crazy. Raya, I'm here. Raya? Answer me, Raya. You freak! These voices. It means Raya's still here, right? Raya! You're useless! I don't want to be your friend. Where are you, Raya? Just die. Damn it. You worthless child. You are such a failure. Raya, are you there? Are you all right? Answer me, please. You freak. You're useless. <clears throat> I don't want to be your friend. Raya. Can't find you, Raya. Answer me or something. Please. Running in the void, yeah? You are such a failure. Are we going the right way? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe not. We maybe gotta go the other way. Raya, please. Nirmala. The magic red book. Open the book. The book? Atman. Open the magic red book. Ah. Raya. She's... Raya. Raya, stay with me now. Raya. No, 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 no. I've come this far, and yet... I still can't help you see beyond your own fears. I'm so useless. Space dive. Is that... Should I? Yeah! Space dive again, just like the last time. Will it go well? And will, will everything be okay? Please, please, please. Let Raya be saved. This is her house, like in the beginning. This is Nirmala. Well, Raya's house. This is where it all began. This is inside of her house. And there's a lock. In her bedroom. No? Oh. There's Raya. Raya, I'm here. Why are you here? Go away. I'm so glad you're alright. You'd be the first. Now leave me alone. Can we talk? No, go away. Hmm. I'm here again. I have to go back. I have to go get her. Go back to her. I should choose my words more carefully this time. Ah! I like it. Oh, I don't like that. Nirmala, my daughter. What's happened to you? All these people ask me how you are, but I don't even know myself. I shouldn't talk to them anyway. Shouldn't bother them with our private affairs. If my husband heard about this from other people, he would... Oh. 
Hello, how's Nirmala doing? Hello, she's fine, thank you. Uh, fitting in all right at the new school? I hope so, she's not telling me anything, but I assume it means nothing is wrong. Never assume that! Personal experience, never assume that. Just because you're not hearing anything doesn't mean there's nothing going on. I sure hope so. Uh, and your husband? Busy with his work, as always. Hello, ma'am. Uh, I'm from your daughter's school. We need to talk. Nirmala, is everything all right? This is Raya featuring Nirmala's grade report. As you can see, her grades have been steadily declining. As you can see, art and language are fine, but she's struggling with other subjects. Oh, no. Is everything all right at home? Sorry. Nirmala always seemed to be distracted in class, but she will never tell us the reason why. It's, uh, she's always been quite a reserved girl. I see. Well, please make sure to report her properly for her next exam. If her grades don't improve, we'll have to conduct a formal investigation. So the mother is starting to hide things. Nirmala. She's in her room, dear. And at this hour, a young lady should be up early. Why aren't you making her do chores? She's not been herself recently. The door's locked. I can't... Uh, this is because you've been uh, coddling her way too much. You're spoiling her. She's turning into a lazy good-for-nothing. I'll beat some sense into her. It's for all her own good. Actually, hang on a sec. The father approaches her bedroom door. Normala, open this door, you little animal. You're humiliating me in front of all the neighbors and the teacher. My dear, if you scream like that, the neighbors will hear. Come, let's just go downstairs. I made you coffee. It's locked. I need a key. Don't worry, I got it. It opened. The key boss gave me was Soraya's room. Aw, Raya. Raya, I'm here. Why are you here again? You have three seconds to state what you want before I teleport you. Crap, uh, what should I say? Uh, it's not good for you staying locked up in here, or everyone's worried about you. Um, I don't think there's a right answer here. I'll do everyone's worried about you, though. Says who? How do you know? Um, don't lie to me just to make me feel better. Nothing you say will change anything. I've tried being kind to myself, tried it over and over again. But at the end of the day, nothing can fill the void. If you're just going to come out with these greeting card pl uh, platitudes, platitudes, then I'd rather you weren't here at all. I don't want to go. I don't want you to be alone. You already left me once. A long time ago. You can do it again. I, Sorry, I, I'm here now. I want to help. It's too late. I'm past help, I think. I don't care what you do as long as you leave me alone. I'm back here again. I won't give up. Raya, I'll reach your heart. I heard about your grades, you ungrateful child. I told you, if you waste all your time on these dumb doodles, you'll never be able to support this family. Do you think I pay your school fees with drawings and stories? Fine. If you like your room so much, let's see how you feel locked up in there. I'll make you see sense. Lord. Document. This is the second overdue notice for your loan repayments. Please pay before the deadline. Listen, so it looks like the family was under some uh, financial stress here. It looks like a drawing of a palm tree that erased. This is the final overdue notice for your loan repayments. Please pay before the deadline listed. Looks like a drawing of a cake has been erased. A comfortable looking chair. Oh, 
Right? <laughs> please stop, please stop, please stop. This is the first overdue notice for your loan repayments. Please pay before the deadline listed. It looks like a drawing of a cat has been erased. January 3rd, Sunday, palm tree. It's drawn on the space for January 3rd. There's a note too. Dad's taking us on a family vacation to Bali. He's the best. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. So he wasn't all bad all the time. Right. Ugh. May 4th. It's drawn on the space for May 4th. May the 4th be with you. There's a note too. Writing day with Atma. We've nearly got the cat's story perfect. July 2nd. It's drawn on the space for July 2nd. There's a note, too. My birthday. Mom says it's my day and I can ask for anything I like. Doors locked. It needs a password. I know the password. Unless it's backwards, other way around, since it's not the US. So it would be uh, the 3rd of January to the 4th of May to the 2nd of July. Or not. June is 6th. Is that June or is that July? Did I misread that? I thought that was July. Did I misread it? No, that's July. That's July. The notice letter have some drawings as the calendar. Same drawings as the calendar. That's true. Right? The cat. First, overdue notice for your payment. It looks like a drawing of a cat has been erased. Hmm. The first. Oh, right. Got it. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I understand. Okay. I got it. Yep. Yep. You're good. Okay. Got it. Yeah. 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 Yep. I got it. So the first is a cat. So one is cat. One is cat. This is cake. Which one is this one? This is the last one. Okay, last. So cake is last. Okay. Cat is first. Got it. Cat, palm, cake. So it would be May 4th, January, July. Okay. May 4th, May, January, July. So I'm going to go U.S. because I think it's in U.S. May 4th, January, July, I think, right? Okay. Maybe it's not in U.S. So let's try it non-U.S. I know it's in Indonesia, but so it would be May 4th. So it would be, oh God, um, break my head. 
be 4th, May, 3rd, January, 2nd, July. There you go. It was not in US. It's unlocked. She's laying on the bed. Raya, I'm here. You again. I'm tired. I can I can just sit here and listen. We don't have to do anything special. Is there anything you want to be alone besides that? Because I'm not going anywhere. I want everything to go away. I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to sleep forever. Well, why do you want to do that? At least it's one thing I'm sure I can achieve in my life. Well, that's sad. You're not going to scold me for saying that, are you? I mean, you're totally wrong, but I, I told you I'm here to listen. Why are you doing this to me? Why do you keep coming back? Maybe I'm just a memory to you. But that's what memories do. They linger. To remind you of what you really are. I guess this is my curse. I can't get rid of you. I can't forget you. Thank you. Do you want to tell me anything else? Not right now. Sure, I'll give you whatever time you need to f for yourself, but please know that I will always be here for you. I have to leave her alone for now. Let's find a place to wait. The chair. I can wait for her in here. Should I wait? Yes. Oh, don't say no, you fool. <laughs> yes. I should wait. Let's wait. Uh, where's the stairs? It's been quite some time. I should check on Raya. Painting of a father. The painting has been torn apart. What's the missing part? That's not her father. That's Raya. Painting of a child. Painting of a mother. This is her mom. It's completed again. This is Raya, the child. I want to talk to them real quick before I <laughs> actually complete this. It's scary. There's nothing in their face but unbridled rage. It's the father. It's complete again. Which... Oh, it's a portrait of the family. Family portrait. The painting is finished. Oh, look at them. It's a portrait of Raya's family. Ah! I can get upstairs to Raya's room now. But damn right. Raya! Amma? You there? Yes, I'm here. Hmm. Uh, she is silent. Should I start talking now? Um, can I stay here with you? Yes. For now. Okay. It's nice. What's nice? You can see the field from the window. And, uh, the weather is nice too. Huh. You're always so bad at small talk. So you remember, I'm glad. Hmm. Do you hate being here in this world I created? No, I love it. It's just artificial. It, however, I, I, I can see that your feeling is real. Your love for this world, the town, the people, the cats, it's real. You hate me, Atma? Of course not. Why would I? I'm a nuisance to everyone. I'm worthless. You're not. You can say that over and over again, and I'll be here to always tell you that you're wrong. I've never done anything right, so ma no matter how hard I've tried. But what do you really want? I want... I don't know. Please give me time to think it through. Alone? Okay. See you later, then. You're never tired of me, are you? Of course not. Okay, we'll wait for her, I guess. Anything changed down here? Oh. Parents are gone. Let's wait for her some more. This is a very, very deep Art, man, this is a deep, deep art for sure.
What are these doors and these symbols? What do they mean? Looks like pushing Nirmala out of her body. Looks like can't really tell what that is. Cats, maybe? And then the werewolves. Uh, okay, let's start with this, I guess. Examine. These drawings, there's something written on them. And so, the star princess spilt into two entities, stellar twins. Yeah, so that's, I guess, uh, when she kind of, like, split apart, yeah? Do we go inside of them? Oh, we do. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Oh, do we tell the story here? Is that what we're doing? I think. These, uh, oh my feline friend, is the only Northstar princess to meet you. I miss her so. I think we are doing the, um. I think we might be telling the story. The swans begin to compare their new swan queen to the princess in the found letter they're lacking. No, no, no. Cat? Pink? Okay, that was wrong. So we're back at the beginning. Am I having deja vu, or is this the same set of drawings all over again? I have a feeling maybe that's what it is, yeah? Hey, Fraz, how you doing? Hello, how you doing? Hope you're doing well, yeah? Can you open your red book? Uh, no. Cannot open your red book. Ah, okay, so it was the dog, the werewolves. Okay, so the werewolves. So it goes that to the werewolves into the... Into the... Okay, no. Okay, it's not that. Not the cat. Into the werewolf. Into the swan or the... Throne. I think it's a swan, right? Because swan... Yeah. Swan was represented by Lulu. Werewolf was represented by Eric. Okay, okay. I think I know it. I think I know it. Snail was Marin. That's what that is. Is that a giant snail? Okay. Werewolf, swan. Swan. Snail. I didn't even know that was a snail, dude. I see it now, but I didn't see it before. Which went into cat. Up the stairs into her bedroom. Fry Tempa with some warm vegetable soup and a bowl of rice. There's also a novel about cats and 
A letter from Marin. Sorry is written on the envelope. Uh, Raya. What are you doing out here? Isn't it dangerous sitting on a roof like this? Wow, look at this animation. This is really good. Of course not. We're not literally here, remember? Oh, right. But when I was a child, I loved doing this. Sitting on a rooftop? Oh, yes. It's so silent in a little space with the whole sky for myself. I always thought I wanted to be uh, lost up there. Being alone in those beautiful, vast, Cerulean landscapes. But I always come back down here, in this small, selfish town with all its people. When I look at them, laughing and joyful with each other, I get so confused. Why does my chest hurt each time I see them? Why can they make those con uh, those contented faces when I can't? What makes them happy? Atma, what makes you happy? When I pet a fluffy animal? When good music is playing, whenever I play Future Fighter, every time I find a new bo bottle cap, when I stroll around town, when people tell me about their days. Uh, I mean, Atma, probably like with the, you know, bottle cap collection. And remember you kept talking about some rare bottle cap caps when we were writing stories. It's like finding a secret treasure. Like finally finding a good story hidden inside you. Yeah, that's exactly what you said too then. Well, the things that make you happy are surprisingly ordinary, I know, but this little ordinary thing makes me alive, makes me feel alive, and keeps me moving on every day, or each and every day. Life is special because of these ordinary things we see every day. Happy as always. How about you? Then, uh, what makes you happy? Well, you make me happy. Sappy? It's the truth. But you aren't here anymore, and I'm alone, and I'm scared. So I create all these places where we can spend time together. I don't have to worry about my bad grades or my messy past. There doesn't have to be sadness in this makeshift world of mine. Are you happy now? I... No. I know deep down that it's all lies, and that the things that happen here aren't real, what else is there? As soon as I'm at ease, I feel the sadness crawl higher and higher in my chest. Even now, I can't escape it. Do you ever feel sad, Atma? Of course. What makes you sad? What makes me sad? Uh, what are these memories? Uh, they aren't mine, but I can remember them. Uh, what, would these memories help Raya? When it rains and there's nowhere to take shelter? No. When the credits roll on my favorite movie. When I get on the wrong bus. <laughs> what makes me sad? I think this is... Yeah, when I get on the wrong bus. I had only just arrived in Locust City, and I was literally overwhelmed in seconds I was completely lost. Some say being lost can open a new adventure. Yeah, but being lost in an unfamiliar city with no money was terrifying. Not just that, I was sad when I decided to run away from my hometown too. And when I realized... What you went through after, I... No, the real Atma was gone. Th that couldn't help you. It was all my fault. If only I hadn't tried to cross that river. No, it's not. If we could turn back time, I'd be more responsible and not let you wander off down the by the river. Or maybe I should take a swimming lesson so I could save both of us. We should have taken swimming lessons together, huh? That would have been fun. But we can't go back, can we? So the only choice we have is to leave it in the past. I believe that the real Atma would say the same. I'm jealous. Of what? Of you. You won't look so sure of yourself while I'm not. Well, you look so sure of yourself while I'm not. I feel like I'm losing myself. It's been a long time since I felt this about myself. And when was that? It was when Nirmala was around. A carefree, naive girl who always stays true to herself. You met her, right, Atma? Yeah, I've met her, and memories of her kept coming back to me. But what did you think of her, of Nirmala? The weirdest storyteller, a pushy girl, I can talk about anything with her. She didn't judge and loved to involve herself in my crazy ideas. 
Well, uh, they were usually crazy ideas too, right? The kind of creativity only happens in a space with no judgment. I guess I can sum it up by saying that she's the best friend anyone can ask for. It's a shame that we wouldn't or we didn't get enough time to fully understand each other. But you've known her a lot longer than me, so how about you? What do you think of her? She's peculiar, to put it lightly, but that's what makes her so fun to be around. She is the one who always assures me that it's okay to be ourselves. That I'm enough, just as I am. That all the failures, the loneliness, the fear, it's part of me and needs to be embraced. That's what Normala would say. She said she did. I did. We both did. We're the same person after all, but I've been avoiding her all this time. Atma. Yeah? I want to see Normala again. I have something I need to say. She was always waiting for you, Raya. Now I know what I should do with this. Oh. Ah. She entrusted me with it, and it's time for me to give it to you, its true owner. Our old storybook. I'm afraid. That's okay, I'm here with you. We can take this slowly, of course. Raya. Um... You okay? Are you hurt anywhere? I don't think so. Come here, let me help you. The road is going to get pretty steep from here. Can you keep it up? Yeah, I can do it. Good. Wow. Powerful stuff right here. Oh, look at this. Say, Raya, what are you going to do when you go back to the real world out there? I'm not sure. I have a lot to figure out, I guess. I, I don't know where to start. How about starting from your bucket list, finishing it for real this time? That's not a bad idea. It'll be a lot of work, but it's something to give you a purpose to start of a new adventure. Couldn't have put it any better myself. Are you going to get some Black Forest Coteau when you're home? Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> but actually, I was thinking I might try and uh, clear next time. That sounds good, too. <laughs> Dude, look at this art. This is incredible. Looks so good. Have you decided which one you prefer to between Mana Haiti or Cyborg Raptor? Honestly, neither of them really interested me. But just sitting in the seat staring up at the widescreen is enchanting. collected many bottle caps doesn't really matter I guess unless you want to take it over once you're home that's actually a great idea someone who wrote this understood depression absolutely I agree I agree Atma. It's okay if I never forget you, right? Of, yeah, of course it is. I will always be with you. Depression and anxiety. Oh. The 
dark clouds, right? Uh-oh. Atma, where are you? It's so dark. I can't see you. Hey, it's okay. I'm scared. No, no, I'm still here with you. Keep moving forward. There's nothing back there for you. Keep moving forward. Ah, we're Raya now. Yeah, and PTSD too. You cut your hair. <laughs> Why? Because you don't want me to pull it anymore? Why not go the whole way and shave it all off? <sighs> Please leave me alone. Hey, look at me. Notice me. I'm talking to you. Overcoming? Eric. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Admiral. Oh. oh, no. Hey, don't die on me, cat. Ah, crap. This is the cat that's always cozying up to Raya. Eric. What the hell do you think you're doing? Admiral. Yo, Raya. I got you the Black Forest. Your favorite, right? What are you doing, Eric? I'm a better man now. Why don't you get that? Get that. I'm in love with... Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, no. And that was Eric. Eric? Raya. I know you know me. I'm Eric. I'm an idiot. All anger and attitude. The Eric who carelessness killed Admiral. The Eric who has nothing more to ask of you than your forgiveness. The Eric who can't understand you, who hides his real feelings from everyone. Including his feelings for you. The one who have more in common with than you might dare to believe. I understand. We are very much alike. I can sympathize with you, but I don't want to spend my whole life battling with rage. It's poison and I won't let it linger. Uh, will you be able to forgive me, the real me? Mm, not yet, but I'll move on. I'll keep on fighting to be better. Well, thank you. Hey, that's a good, that's a good outcome though. Of course. Oh yeah. And about Raya, what was it? Oh yeah, she's at the top of the class this year. No kidding, what? Right, I thought it'd be you, Lulu, like for sure. Lulu, she cut her hair too. There she is, she actually cleans up nicely. What a surprise, huh? They were jealous, they were jealous, weren't they? Listen. This isn't the way to com uh, a committee president should act. Do you even understand what it takes to lead? You need to delegate responsibilities. You kept slacking off, skipping meetings, and now... Look at what happened. I told you everything is okay. The Linton Festival is in one week, Raya. Seven days. And we've only raised one-fifth of the budget. This is the first time I've heard of this. Get a grip, Raya. Do you have any plans at all to raise that money? We need to pay the vendors. Yes. Then let's hear it. I, of course not. Listen, I'm taking over. No, you can't do that. Anybody here object to that? Does anyone here think Raya is fit to lead? No, I think Lulu would do this better. This is a coup. <sighs> Get your head out of your ass. What did you just say to me? You've tr you're a tryhard who just is using the festival to jack up your own image as the model student. You only took this position to impress the teacher, didn't you? Have you forgotten that there is an actual festival to arrange? Has it occurred to you that you're jeopardizing the name of our school for your own standing? You've got no leadership, no awareness, no skills. You're just a fake bitch. Damn. Sister is spitting. Gotta apply ice to that burn. <laughs> Whew. Hey, Willie. Hey, Jefferson. What's going on? Black sw Swan being Lulu. I'm impressed that you're brave enough to get this far. I am Lulu. The Lulu you've always admired. The Lulu you always wanted to be. But I'm also the Lulu that hurts you. I always wondered why you hated me. Hate? 
It's an awfully strong word. You know, we just don't understand each other. I suppose that's fair. I don't understand myself either. I guess a part of me thought that I wanted to be you to live your life, but I think I really just wanted to be accepted. I fooled myself into becoming someone I'm not, but that ends now. I won't let you put me down again. You don't get to decide my value, and I'll be whomever I want to be. Good. That's the spirit. Now put that energy to use against our real adversary, okay? I'll try my best. Very good. Stand it up to- she stood up to Eric, she stood up to Lulu, right? Yeah. Nirmala? Oh, Marin. Oh god, Marin. Oh, hi. Hi. What are you doing here? Drawing, obviously. Yeah, I can see that. I meant, uh, why are you drawing here? You don't have a home. Oh, I don't? I do. Uh, but my father will be furious if he finds out I'm wasting my time drawing. You think it's a waste of time? No, not at all. Drawing is fun. Creating stuff is fun. Wanna try? I'm making this South Star Princess magic wand. You can help. Then you'll see how fun it is. South Star Princess? Who is that? Oh, uh, I have so much to tell you. <laughs> Nirmala, I brought a new drawing pad and crayons. Let's draw together. Marin, these are all brand new. Pad, pencils, you've even got the pack of 48 color crayons. Wow. The the 48 pack, that's a big deal. You must have saved up for these for months and months. Thank you for bringing them. They're so pretty. Oh, I didn't save them. My parents bought them for me at the store. Ah. Realizing that maybe her parents are good to her, unlike her parents at home. Huh? They just bought it for you? Just like that? Well, yeah, after my painting class. We stopped at a bookstore and my mom said I could pick anything I wanted. We bought loads. I got some drawing tutorial books and some comics too. I'll bring the rest tomorrow. Let's read them together, yeah? Painting class? I didn't know you did extra classes. Oh, yes, well, my mom saw me drawing one day and said I should learn how to do it from a proper teacher to refine my talent. I was going to say you should sign up for the class too, Nirmala. We can draw the Star Princess together. Well, I, uh, I don't think I can afford a class. I had to use my savings for things for school. Why not ask your parents? Dad gets so angry when I draw. He punches things, even people. I can never ask him to pay for a painting class. He punches people? Well, why? I don't know. He said I was wasting his money on pointless things. I wish my parents were more like yours. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Very well. The snail and being Marin. That's right. We made that one together. You're the one that showed me the magic we all have inside in painting and telling stories. What you gave me that day, I'll never be able to pay it back. I know. I'm ashamed that I wasn't there when you needed me the most. I know that too. I... I'm sorry for turning my back on you. It wasn't very brave of me. Uh, we were so little and so helpless. I knew that you felt that way and withheld my forgiveness too. Try and punish you, I suppose. And I suppose I never wanted to admit that really, I was basically jealous of you. That makes us even. Drawing and chatting about stories, I miss that. I miss you. Can we start over? Go back to how we used to be? I'll think about it. You need to do what's right for you, of course. I will. I won't run away anymore. From myself or from our friendship. Thank you. No, thank you for showing me the magic. That's sad. It really is sad. She got to sit there and see her best friend get everything she ever wanted while she didn't. You know? Is that her dad? Are you, oh, it's At Atma? Are you scared? It's her dad. I am. I'm here with you, right? Come on, you can do this. Oh, she gonna approach her dad? Oh, crap. You dis disobedient. You're such a disappointment. You'll never be... This is going so fast. You disobedient child, quit messing around. You're such a disappointment. Why did we even have you? She's gonna approach him. Oh, you useless brat. Why don't you just disappear already? This is her ultimate fear, I think. 
No. No, no, no. I can't do this. Atma. Atma, where are you? Nirmala? Atma? Mom? My child, you're trembling. Yes, I'm scared. I knew I couldn't do this. He's terrifying, believe me, I know. I was scared too. Maybe I still am. But I get a little bit of courage each time I know that you're here, alive, by my side. This little courage keeps getting stronger, and I can endure everything because of you. Mom. You've been my strength all this time, so this time at least let me be yours. I'll be here. I won't leave you. We will get past him together. Oh, here we go. Don't worry. You're stronger than you think. You can do this. Dad? What is it? I'm busy. Shouldn't you be doing something useful? You're always hanging around nagging me. Dad, you are awful. To me, to mom, to everyone. I hope you know that. Excuse me, you little brat? What's a little screw-up like you got to say about awful, huh? I know I'm not the perfect daughter you wanted. I suppose some people really just can't coexist together. Even a father and his daughter. But I won't let it stop me. I'll keep moving forward. Even if it means leaving you behind. Whatever, Brant. Suit yourself. Thank you for the things you've done for me. Goodbye. Valuable lesson here, folks. Uh, family. Family blood. Um, just because, I guess, they're your family doesn't mean, like she said, you can coexist with them. I did it. I'm so proud of you, child. I know you can do anything. Where are you going? I will wait for you back home. Take your time. When you're ready to come home, I'll greet you with your favorite food, as always. Oh, Admiral. Admiral? Boss? My beloved friends? I apologize for not taking care of you well enough. I'm sorry I couldn't protect you. You know it's not your fault. How could it be? It's a cat's greatest sadness, but often we must leave before your time. It's my greatest honor. Our greatest honor. I have shared this time with you. However brief. Thank you. For everything you did for me. I'll be moving on now. I think that would be best. I will take care of her, princess, rest assured. You bet. I'll scratch you real good if you don't. <laughs> Cat Wonderland is a place of tranquility and peace. Farewell, your majesty. Take care, Raya. Live well. Woof. Out of the dark cloud now. We made it. No, you made it. That was quite the ordeal. Congratulations for making it this far. Just a few steps more now. Out of the cloudy depression. Standing up for yourself. Finding yourself worth. Finding yourself value. Don't let anybody treat you the way. That way. And don't let people. No matter if it's family. You know. Never. Don't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Shattered world, maybe now not so shattered. This place. This is where we. Where you. Yes. Can you walk by yourself? Are you going to leave me now? No, I'll still be with you, but I need you to take the lead. You need to do this for yourself because the person you'll meet is very special. Special? You mean, yes. Don't worry, I'm right behind you.
base camp. Nirmala. Our base camp. We used to talk about our stories here. It was a lot of fun. Yes, it was. Come on, let's go inside. Nirmala? You! Oh, how I've missed you. It's been so long. How was your adventure, North Star Princess? Actually, horrible. I should never have left. It took a lot of time and pain for me to learn how much I needed you. You're always the brightest star in the sky. Silly, Ryan. I can never shine without you. I didn't have your toughness. Your ability to survive and endure even in the harsh conditions. Don't shut me out like this time. I'll stick with you to the end. Atma was right. You really are a pushy girl. In a good way, right? The best. Does it really hurt? It does. I never thought growing up would be this hard. It's good to feel things deeply sometimes. It means you're alive. And while you're alive, there's still time to find happiness. This time, let's tough it out together. Why are you crying? We're the same, remember? All this time, I've waited for you. I missed you so much. I've missed you too. Ah, oh, look at that. Welcome back, my other half. Oh, look at that. Raya, are you? She's back. I'm back. How does it feel? It feels... I feel warm. Whole again. I finally feel like I'm really present. Ah, the last page, maybe, eh? Ah, yes. This is the perfect ending for the tale of the Star Princess. Find some precious treasure. So did you figure out your precious treasure? Actually not something that can be collected. It's the little things. The people who care about me. The things that bring me joy. The feeling of sitting down to write. My will to stay here. To keep living. I guess that's the bucket list complete. Now what? Make a new bucket list. By yourself this time. Not with me. You have to move on. And leave you behind? I don't want to forget you. Moving on isn't the same as forgetting me. I'll always be here. Right where you left me. You want to go? Right? With your mom? A fresh start? You can write more stories then. I do. I really do. Atma, I don't understand. What are you? Really? I didn't make you like this, did I? I can't have... it. it it's like, as if I talked with the real Atma himself. Who's to say what's real and what isn't? But what do you feel right now, Raya? I feel relieved to know you're here, happy to see you again, and sad because I know you're already gone. I love you more the further away you get, I think. Then that's what's real. Those feelings, nobody can deny them or take them away from you. They're enough. I'm scared. It's okay. Everything will be all right. In every storm, you'll find your sunrise. Uh-oh.
Oh. Oh. Mariah. She's in a hospital. Mala. Oh, never Mala. My baby girl, you're awake. I think I understand now. I understand. She was in a coma from probably reality. Night of situations that might have happened during her depression, so to speak, right?
Yeah, and there is another ending to it, of course, if you do everything, right, off the bucket list and all. Wow. That was crazy. Very crazy. It's finished. I guess we could have went through the book. I could have. Sorry. Sorry. Hmm. Stuff to pack. Ah, she's on her way out. Looks like it's going to rain soon. I can pack later. I should go out now while it's still dry. I've read this series more than 15 times. Chapter 1043 is still the most thrilling. The only game I'm good at. I heard the they released a sequel. Ultra Future Fighter 6. The fixing this magic wand took all night. Made it. It's not quite perfect. What is it? I can keep working on it in our new home. I bought this on the internet. Its cute face reminds me of an old friend. The cat. I've spent a lot of my recovery time reading books. Most people start learning way younger, but at least I can play a tune now. I can finish packing later. I need some fresh air. Can't believe I packed the entire room. What got thrown away? What got packed? It's all a blur. Sorry if you hear that noise. Bella is squeaking a chicken. Neatly bundled important papers that mom keeps inside a clear folder, including the divorce paper from years ago. We've been through a lot, haven't we? You going out, dear? Need some fresh air. Maybe I'll go and see the bridge while I'm at, at it. What is it, Mom? I'm relieved you seem to be making a lot of progress, physically and mentally. Seeing you like this was just, you know, if anything happened to you, I, I just... Mom, I'm fine. You don't need to worry about me anymore, okay? I'm just going on a walk for some inspiration is all. I'm going to write again. I'm so happy to hear that. Uh, but will you write about the bad things too? I'm not ashamed of my story, Mom. I'm going. I'll wait. The forecast says it's going to rain. Here, carry an umbrella with you. Thank you, Mom. I'm going now. Raya, I'm glad to see you walking about. Miss Nikon, do you have our do you have a friend that lives near here or I actually come to see you? It's been a while since we last spoke. You're right, I haven't seen you since I graduated. I apologize. Oh no, don't. Life can be hectic sometimes, and it seems like it has not been easy for you. It's not been easy for either of us. I hope we both find the strength to overcome it. Well said, Raya. This is Ash Ketchum. Let me know if there's any more boxes for the truck, miss. Uh, right. Everything seems so more lively. Marin. Oh, it's Marin. Oh, everybody. Dude, everybody's grown up. That's why we're all adults, I think, now, right? Oh, hey, Raya. Marin, how are you? I'm fine. I'm good. Been doing great uh, in my internship. I was interning at a publishing company. Learned a lot about printing, uh, book printing. I could probably print my own book now. <laughs> oh, sorry, look at me talking. I'm talking. You don't need to hear about all this. It's okay. Hmm. Is this your friend you're always talking about? I'm sorry. You are? Oh, how rude of me. This is my senior at GRA Media. The publishing company. If you ever write something and want it published, I might be able to help. Uh, we take all sorts of submissions. I see. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Uh, I hear you've been writing again. Yes, it's been wonderful. You've been reading a lot, too. I picked up a novel recently, The Mysterious Case of Harry Bear? 
You read the book I self-published? How was it? Oh, wait, don't tell me now. I I'm not ready. I heard you're moving away, too. Yeah, today. I've been packing. Oh, so soon. But the sooner the better, I suppose. So you can start to, uh, heal. I suppose I can come back or come out because I wanted to see all the familiar sights one last time. Actually, I should probably get going. Oh, of course. Sorry for keeping you. See you around, Marin. I'm looking forward to your next book. And I yours, too. Yeah, see you. How awesome is that? Oh, you're a graduate, aren't you? What's your name again? I'm Raya, sir. Oh, yes, Raya Fitri Nirmala. I remember you. Still smoking, sir? <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to cut back. All right, very well. It's another rainy afternoon, so let's brighten everything up with our latest top artists here at Loka Radio. We have a Sentiwan, Sentiwan, Sentiwan uh, right on top with Posthumous album, May He Rest in Melody. We have an indie newcomer pianist here, our lovely Krista. And don't go anywhere, because right after that, we'll have our all-time favorite, Edda. Edda. This town looks so different a couple years. I mean, it's been years, right? It does look different here. Uh, what should we buy first? Football toys. Yeoman bubblegum. Chocolate? Oh, it's the chocolate! It's the kid, he's grown up. Yeah, oh my lord. This is so cool. Um, the internet cafe turned into... Is this the internet cafe? Maybe not. Maybe this was something else. Hello. Dude, just give me a stick. Get your own loca mark is right there. It's so overpriced though, not like Mr. Booty's place. Oh... Is Mr. Uncle Bo Booty a buddy around still? Fresh Chewy Samol. Are you peckish, Miss? Yes, you. Oh, it's uh, Rita and the chef and all that. Yeah? Uh, one fried rice, please, and uh, make it quick to me. Too many. I know you know me personally, but you should still get in line, you know? I'm still making the other orders. Crap, my lunch break is running out. They're still doing their thing. Uh, the festival is so packed. I feel like a canned sardine. I should have stayed home. Apparently the festival is better this year, though. It's Lulu. Oh, wow. Oh, Raya. Ah, it's you. How how have you been? Doing fine. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Uh, people were so worried. They asked me about you and people. You know, everyone from high school. All the girls have been so worried about you. We should hang out sometime like old times. Uh, any uh, in 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 in, <laughs> and Nidia is married now, and Cynthia has just opened a new cafe. No offense, Lulu, but I really couldn't care less. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you speechless before. Uh, it's a rare occasion, I know. Yeah, of course. Why would you care about them? Sorry, I, I don't know what I was thinking. No, it's not your fault. And we could still hang out, the two of us. Oh, yeah, that, how about a cup of coffee sometime, yeah? I'd love to. Look at that! First grade of, first course of action. She stuck, she stuck up, well, stuck up for herself, right? But, like, she just, you know, she knows what's important in her life, and I don't care about that nonsense, right? Great. I'll get in touch once we settled. It's like, I don't care. I don't care about all this and that and keeping up with that and this. No. Don't matter to, oh, God, this guy. Cool shirts for the millennium. Uh, get one for your kid, your parents, your uh, mailman. Just get one, yeah? Selling t-shirts. I love this, like, showing off the backstory here, of course. The cinema is reopening now with new 2K technology and a 3D projector. Come, come, come. Oh, this is the, the cinema guy, right? Don't miss out. Very well. This is the dog guy. Oh, the dog and apparently duck. Now, maybe have a, something going on here. Woof. Quack. Woof, woof. Quack, quack. Oh, the duck and the dog and the dog and the duck like each other. Fantastic. They look happy. Weird. <laughs> and then look, it's the climbing club people. The ones that confess each other's love to each other. Let's go to the stall first and then, uh, um, can I ask you a dumb question? Is this a, uh, a date? Yeah, of course. Yes. 
Uh, the bully. Boss, this muscle of yours will be a real hit in the dojo. Trust me. Shut up. Don't wanna. How many times should I tell you this? Is it because Sensei kicked your butt? <sighs> Fine. If it'll shut you up, I'll go. Awesome. Oh, the three brothers, right? Yeah, the three brothers. Hey, sis, a quiz for you. Huh? Me? That's right, sis. Take it away, bro. Hmm. White well, goes up a hill on three legs and comes down on four. Uh, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> we won. We won. We won. All right, you can leave, sis. Ah, uh, the florist lady. M uh, madam, right? Madame. Madame? Madam? Uh, Puspy? Good afternoon, miss. Oh, I know you. You do? Yes, you're Lucy's friend. Are you looking for flowers? Sure. Can I get these and those, please? Coming right up. Here you go. Your flowers. Oh, lovely. It's a cat? Who is that? I don't recognize this person. Oh, it's Eric! Who's a little baby boy? You know. That's right, you are. It's you, Eric. Oh, my lord. Raya? This is not... Uh, I mean... Um, how is... How are you? Are you alright to be walking around like this on your own? I'm fine, Eric. Thank... I'm sorry. I, sorry, you're first. Uh, no, no, no. It's not important. It sounds like it is. I mean, for everything I've done, I... I, I can't say it. Take your time, then. Thank you? No problem. You take care of yourself now, right? Yeah, you too. You better keep yourself safe until I can say it properly, okay? You hear me? <laughs> sure. The bridge is just around the corner. Do I want to continue my journey and head to the bridge, or is there many more to see in the town? Let's continue. Let's continue. Keep it natural. Keep it organic as we are, as we're playing through here, right? As if, like, Raya were to go in one direction and just keep walking and walking and walking, right? Oh my, it's going to rain. Atma, are you seeing this? The sky looks so beautiful right now. Atma, are you seeing this? The sky looks so beautiful. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the end, the official end to this wonderful game called A Space for the Unbound. It's been a pleasure and honor being with you today and uh, bringing this game to you all. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the like button. Probably one of my favorite storytelling games I've played. It's up there. It's at least in the top three. 100% up in the top three. Um, loved it. Absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. I think I'm done talking for the next... For the rest of the month. <laughs> Maybe or not. Maybe I'm done reading for the rest of the month. Possibly. So, anyways. It was pretty great. Great writing from this game. Absolutely awesome indeed. I really, really did enjoy it. Uh, the music was great. The, the, the... Oh. Look at that. The, the graphics are great. The art, great. Um, also great. Also great. I'm so glad this game was brought to my attention, indeed. And, um... Oh, look at that transition. This game... The developers that did this game also did, the de did develop Coffee Talk. Uh, so, if you want or if you've played this game or thinking about playing this game or if you want a story driven game as well from the same developers take a look at coffee talk because they were a part of that too and i believe they might be making a sequel or something to coffee talk if i'm not mistaken but yeah there might be a sequel coming soon to me i had a really good time i had a really good time with this um i know it's not the most popular thing on the channel i know not a lot of people like to watch um, story driven games very much here, but um, I enjoy it from time to time. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. So, thank you all for hanging out with me on this journey and watching this entire playthrough from start to finish. Probably about, uh, if I were to guess, maybe 13, 12 or 13 hours we did for this game um, in the past, in you know, in the last two days. So, really good. Really good. I didn't do everything in the game. I didn't do all the collectibles. I didn't get the secret ending, but hey, 
that's all right because i guess if anything that gives people an excuse to go out and buy the game maybe and do it themselves anyways yeah there is there is there is so yeah <laughs> i'll keep you <laughs> it's very nice very good yeah glad you could watch anyways uh thank you all and i'm gonna go ahead and let this play out for the rest and i'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's stream all right so I'll talk to you very soon take care oh in love and memory of muhammad oh dang it <sighs> what a great game oh well enough daydreaming it's time to give him this flower <gasps> what There's more. <laughs> yeah. All right. You all take care. See ya.